Hey guys. Oh, I forgot I was live for a second. I was typing a DM. Hey guys. Thanks for the 100 bits. What game? You'll see in a minute. You'll see in a minute. Well, you can literally look at the game category and it'll just, it'll just say. Furry, more like Furry. Can you please, please, please play Among Us on stream? Uh, I don't. I think my brain would start oozing out of my ears if I did that, Grolix. 1K viewers, dude. I. What is happening? It, this feels so weird. Getting like a K consistent. That it doesn't feel real. I don't know. The new video made me want to take my eyes out. Hmm. Awkward. That's all you have to say to like being the one who's performed it like an e lobotomy on me. Fucked up. Fucked up. Thank you for the sub, Balaz. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> this is why we're friends, Garlics. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? What'd you guys do on Tuesday? What'd you guys do all these since last stream? I remember when we would just be chilling at 2K viewers. I mean, I, I, think, I think 1K is still manageable. Thanks for the sub, Harrison. Appreciate it. Is it Blush Blush? I had that one recommended to me, but the game we're playing today, and I will more than likely butcher this name, uh, is one that got recommended to me by one Nick Nocturne, who I when, I... when I was thinking of, like, who could give me good recs, I was like, wait a second, I know exactly who the fuck would know what to, like, what to play. Shout out Nightmind for telling me to play Como Rebi. I definitely said that wrong, but... It, 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 it's got, like, a stacked voice cast, man. Like, the, the vo- Like, the people, like, on the cast are like, you know, they've done a lot of, like, voice work. In industry. Uh, let me see if I can find, like, the list again. Yeah, it's got, uh... He's, uh, he's got the person who is- who did Lagoshi in Beast- in the Beastars dub. The Angel Dust's voice actor. Uh, some folks from the Neon Genesis Evangelion Breath of the Wild, like, it's fucking stacked, dude. Absolutely, like, huge, like, massive cast. Like, million dollar Marvel cast. Chris Evans is in it. <laughs> Michael Kovac, maybe. I'm not familiar with all the meat. You're telling me Jonas Scott is VA in this? I, let me double check. Yes! Jonas Scott. Specifically, Jonas Scott is in this. Why can't I escape the furry community? Because I'm milking them for views. What do you mean? Thank you for the sub, the raccoon whisperer. It's Jonas Scott and Michael Kovac. Yeah, so... Sean Shiplock, Jonas Scott, Michael Kovac, Casey Mongolo, I hope I said that right, and Jesse and Akala. I definitely said some of their names wrong, and I feel really bad if I did. Also, Carrie Horn and John Malone. So yeah, fucking star cast of, star cast of like, furry, da dateable furry characters in this. 
Can't confirm quite is not a furry. You don't know that. I'll never I'll never reveal it personally, or like I'll never get rid of the ambiguity because that's like what keeps people coming back. It's literally just about money with me. I'm literally just the biggest piece of shit you've ever met. It's not even close. Love how you specified that you weren't a furry? I'm not. I'm not. I'm simply not. Ah, touche. <laughs> how you been, beta? You'll never know how many fursuits I own. Like, I'll, I'll literally never say. Batman could be beaming me up and I'd say, you have one. Batman. His name is literally Batman. Cap. Quite is currently wearing cat ears and thigh highs. You don't, you don't know that. You can't be certain. I might be. I might be. And Sean Shiplock, holy shit, I'm dead. Real. Bro, play the game. You must be new to the streams. We we kind of hang we kind of hang around a little bit. We have a little fun before before we hop into the game. All right. Also, Queens of the Stone Age fucking whips, dude. Batman is not a furry. Are you- look at him. Look at him. He's a grown man in a bat costume that he spent thousands of dollars on. Who else bet- who like spent- who else spends thousands of dollars on like animal costumes? Furries. He's a goddamn furry. He didn't have to put ears on the ar on the body armor he wears. He's so fucking dramatic. <laughs> Good grief. It ain't furry if there's no fur? What? No, what? That's not how that works. Real furries don't, like, real life furries don't have real fur on their costumes. It's simulated. It evokes the image of that animal. In the same way that Batman's costume evokes the image of bats. He's literally dating a cat, dude. It's synthetic fur. Real. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm sipping a G Fuel right now. I'm gonna crash so hard midstream. It's gonna be so epic. All right, so, f so the details on this game are that it's actually in demo right now, and if you guys find yourself enjoying this for whatever reason, uh, they're currently trying to get wish list. Well, be sure to wish list it on Steam. It helps indie games out a lot. Thank you for the uh, 1600 bits, Sampa man. That's a hefty one, damn. <laughs> Dragon furries. And the the version of the game we're about to play today is like estimated to be two and a half, three hours long, and it's just the first chapter. So apparently this is a big meaty ass game. As an ex furry, what is wrong with you? It, dude, look at the fucking viewership numbers and tell me you wouldn't do the same goddamn thing I'm doing right now. This is one of places with games. That makes sense. Three hours. I mean, yeah, a lot of the dating sim storylines we've done have been about that long. You're welcome for the money, Quite. I, I, I appreciate it a lot. Be sure to keep giving me money because we're friends. Friends give each other money, but only in the direction of you giving me money. That's how that works. That's how you know we're real friends. Real life, real friends. Okay, uh, let me see. Game. I need to see how the sizing window on this works. All right, let's see. Are we are we good? Como Rebbe deals with mental health topics that some may find distressing. Okay, is this like a I'm gonna cry game, or is this like a little a little is it a little silly? Is it a little witty dialogue? I, I'm I'm curious. Man, I should I really should have like gotten cat ears on my VTuber for this one. Like, even if there were, like, some dingling shitty ones. Think of the 100 bits, Milkma. Pick the fucking rabbit or you ain't really Springtrap. This is fiction, though. I'm, like, actually dating Springtrap. So, I don't know why that has to have such a large bearing on the decisions I make in a fictional video game. Just because I'm dating a specific type of person in real life. Isn't the whole point of this, like, escapism and having a bit of fun? Jeez. Alright. New game. I could just give you my VTube model Welcome to use if you want something more furry. Real shit? Oh, I did say it right. Beta, are you... Are you are you not fucking with me? Does it work in purper? Beta, does it work in purper live? Tell me. 
I need to know. This would be incredibly funny. Escapism from your BF? No, escapism from the pain of real life. That he is also an escape from. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Say you're say it say you're not lying. Say swear on your dead mother. Your uh, filthy VC face casual. Oh legit, I, I VTube Studio is too scary for me, so I stick with Perp for Live. I learned how to use it and I'm too scared to run away. Honestly, it's it might be a lot of troubleshooting that I don't want to interrupt the stream, so I'm just gonna keep it as is. Thank you for the offer though. Uh, welcome to Como Rebi. You have chosen to take part in a personal experience. Okay. In exchange for that, we have given you several options to use. Oh shit. Guys, it's about to t it's about I'm about to have to pick my Feel persona. Free to do so at your leisure. Your experience will be divided into fragments like these. Dude, I'm like floating in the Skyrim skill tree right now. Right now, there's only one. The Mega Death Highway. Yo, Damien, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Big one right there, big 50 banger. And thank you for the extra gift sub you just gave to Ransom Rando. Try saving and then interact with this fragment. Okay, don't tell me what to do. File one. Alternatively, feel free to enjoy the view. Very pretty. Experience opening fragment. A new beginning. Oh shit, yeah, about to move right into the center of a highway. Our house, in the middle of the street, gets hit by cars on the daily. Fear of the future must not define us. It is regrets of the past that make us who we are. Thanks for the 200 bits gay for maple syrup. This is looking like it's going to be a heavily thematic game. Like there's actually going to be real topics explored here, and I am not emotionally prepared to think about actual stuff. My eyes flutter as I linger on the precipice of a peaceful sleep. Cars pass by, then fade away, lulling me like mechanical waves on a suburban ocean. However, as enticing as slumber may seem, this is not the time or the place. As we drive, I keep myself awake with pleasant thoughts, though thoughts both old and new. Dude, look at the fucking yeah logo in the background. <laughs> Real furry company. Those vehicles that passed by, where were they going and where did they come from? I dig deeper and start to wonder who those people were, who they loved and held dear. Billions of people, all with lives fundamentally different from mine. It's a lot to take in. Thanks for the 100 bits, lovesick. But is that difference a good thing or a bad thing? I stop to think and I can find no answer. Thanks for the five subs, Ewiz. As many people say, though, the, no the unknown is alluring. That part of why I'm sitting here right now. I feel a tap on my shoulder and let out a loud yawn, giving my friend a slight smile. It isn't long before I receive one in return. This is inaccurate. I do not have friends. At least we were both on the same page. There'd be plenty of time to sleep later on. Hey. Hey. Right over there? Damn. That's some interesting fucking, like, coloring patterns. Ever since we left the airport, you've been dozing off like mad. I thought it was pretty good company, you know? You're offending me. I do like his jacket. His jacket's quite nice. I like the color, because it's, like, the color of me. I'm a narcissist. I shake my head as if doing so would grant me further clarity. You're great company. I'm just really tired. Honestly, I was waiting for you to make the first move. You're pretty boring. I'm already planning a- Fuck. Just feeling ho- Do we be sad? Do we, uh, be honest? Do we, uh, flirt? Do we be sarcastic? Do we be angry? Holy shit, a furry. Y'all won't believe it, but there- But there are furries in the mod team. They are among us. Literally, like, literally fucking haunting us. Go with the yes flirt. I don't know. This is the first guy we meet. Do you guys give a, give yourself away to every dude you talk to? One of those basic neon wolves. I I wouldn't know, man. I'm gonna be honest. Flirt. You guys are living vicariously through me, playing a dating sim. You get no action in real life, so you live through me pretending to get action. Oh my god. Yeah, it, the, the furry is definitely not the one named Wolf in my mod team. Definitely not. I'm feeling- I'm feeling sleepy. Yeah, me too. But you're the only one to blame here. That smile is dangerous. Why did you book the red eye? Well, there's a question for the ages. Thanks for the sub. I had some coffee, but not even that could save me. 
the sides. Before he can continue, he's cut off by a loud beeping noise. A light on the dashboard starts to flash, causing him gr to groan in an, an, an annoyance. He looks down for a moment and presses a button to silence the intrusion, Distracted and then crashes! Driving? Of course. Apparently, this thing doesn't want me talking to my friend. I guess it thinks you're a risk? Maybe you should take that as a compliment. I won't lie, it's really nice that the dialogue is fully voiced because it saves my poor throat from having to read every character's lines. Like, holy shit. I, I had a lot of fun on that, uh, Dial Town dating sim game. But holy shit, my throat was raw after three hours of that. Same with the, da the uh, Dream Daddy one. I shrug, unsure of how to respond as I rest my head on the window. According to the system, almost everything was a risk these days. It wasn't worth losing the points, so we sit and remain in silence. God, they made the credit score real. They made American credit score real. So I take it we live in some kind of dystopian furry society? Thanks for the 100 bits, lovesick. This VA is also in Genshin. This keeps getting- you, you, the more you talk, the worse it gets. A few moments later, the silence is finally broken. I'm thankful as things were starting to get a little awkward. But I guess meeting someone for the first time is always like that. Well, it was nice of him to pick you up from the airport. Isaac, right? That's an interesting haircut, you know? He looks kind of like Sephiroth. <laughs> Make sure to keep people like him close by during a change like this. Things may seem a bit uncertain right is this now. Is the ones, or but is this remember, like just a therapist? That's not a bad thing. He fiddles with a few papers in his hands before pulling out a specific sheet. Placing it on the table between us, he slowly slides it over to my side of the room. I pick it up and inspect for a few moments. It's a basic questionnaire. If you could just fill out the basics, that would be great. Okay, guys, it's just like the ADHD quiz all over again. Obviously, I know who you are, but we need to leave a paper trail. You fill that out, and I'll decide our topics for the day, all right? I don't think this one's dateable. I legit just think he's a he's the therapist. A nod, grabbing the pen that rests on the table beside me. These sessions were always boring, especially the first few. A new city and a new counselor, right back to square one. After filling out the form, I place it on the table and slide it back. The counselor picks it up, inspects it, and gives me a knowing All nod. All that aside, I assume that you still prefer the name Delta? It was mentioned in the notes sent over by your previous counselor. I guess that's me, guys. I guess that's me now. My name is Delta, officially. Don't worry. It's normal. A lot of people your age shy away from their birth name. Man, there's so much implied lore here. I'm weirdly intrigued by the furry dating sim. Why spend our lives with something that's been decided for us, right? Things are a lot more flexible than we give them credit for. This is how every person, every YouTuber who gets to go by their username feels. Yeah, the shit, the dumb shit I made up when I was 13, that's my name forever now. That's how I will be known as the world. Bless Beta, hope you're doing well. That includes the future. Thank you for the Prime sub as well, man. People tend to forget. I really don't know where he's going with this. Did somebody say Joe Biden furry? Joe Biden with long hair? With piercings? <laughs> he taps the pa Dark Brandon, that's him. He taps the papers against his lap, straightening them out. Allow me to be a little blunt. What? I mean, where? We both know why you're here. Get us? My practice focuses on people like yourself. Those who saw nothing. Honestly, that's a very small group. It must get lonely for you sometimes. Fuck, there is so much- there is so much shit. I, I need an exposition dump soon. I shrug. There's a single question I like to ask my new patients. So, excuse the cliché, but how does that make you feel? Thanks for the hundred bits. Being alone while billions receive a glimpse of the future. Dude, it legit just sounds like he's shitting on me. How does it feel being a lonely loner loser like you, you fucking lonely loser? You fuck- you bum. You didn't see the future like the rest of us cool people. You fucking loser! I thank him for rubbing it in, ensuring that the sarcasm is clear. It's the opposite, actually. I meant to give you some support. Yeah, I can tell. It, 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 the support is coming in droves. I feel like I have a pillar under me. Imagine being constrained by a vision of your future, consumed by it. You have what some people would call freedom, a truly blank slate. Remember, Komarebi is a relatively new phenomenon. Society has flourished for thousands of years without it. Oh, so the Komarebi is like the whole theme of the game? Some would consider your situation a blessing. 
don't forget that. Yeah, and some people want to chop off their limbs willingly. I can tell he's giving a speech that he's given many times before. Because of that, it seems to lose some of its impact and wisdom. As I close my eyes, I simply hope that this is all over soon. Society. He's not supportive at all. I feel talked down to. Truly. The TV report continues and I open my eyes with slight hesitation. I've only been here for a few days and rest is almost impossible to find. This place would cost you 10000 a month in New York. This is a nice ass, this is a nice ass little apartment, man. A new start to your life is always stressful after all. At least I have friends. <sighs> I can't believe they're making us watch this. Thanks for the 500 bits. A hundred years of visions? <laughs> Nobody cares. Looks like Argus just wants to stroke their own ego. It's not the only thing they're trying to stroke. <laughs> Dante leans forwards, taking the opportunity to chime in. Which one's named Dante? That's a fuck- that's a cool ass name. Yeah, this is more about the system than anything else. Maybe they should fix all the glitches before boasting. Yeah, that looks like someone named Dante. Thanks for the thousand bits, kill John Lennon? <laughs> Watch. Soon it'll say talking over their propaganda is risky. The art's good. I don't know, like, like the facial expressions, despite it being, you know, snout-based, come through well. Isaac leans forward, whispering as if the topic is sensitive. You're not supposed to badmouth the system, Dante. Me went 1984. Literally 1984. As if my score could get any lower, man. Besides, Delta has definitely seen my true colors by now. I'm under no obligation to keep up the nice guy act. Hmm, implied long-term friendship. Why does it have to be an act? Can't you just, you know, be nice? Impossible. Dante scoffs. <laughs> Too much effort, not enough caffeine. And you know the system is messed, Isaac. We're all on a leash. They just use Komarebi as an excuse to make it stay that way. This is anti-establishment ass motherfucker. You see this? You see this? Can't argue with that one. Hey, Delta, didn't you have an appointment soon? Maybe I can use you as an excuse to stop watching this thing. Mandated propaganda viewing, dude. And you're telling me to be nice. Wait, fart incoming? I laugh at the retort and lean back in an attempt to relax. I let Isaac know that he was right, but my appointment wasn't for a while. Plenty of time to gather my thoughts and continue watching this report, so to speak. Yeah, I definitely need to gather my thoughts. There's a fog over my mind and I feel so scatterbrained. Grounding myself in this new environment would definitely help. Kill John Lennon! Como Rebi, appointment. The system, news report. Interact with each word to learn more about it. Okay, okay, exposition dump time, fellas. It's time for some world building. Upon interacting with all four, your experience will continue. Cool. One day, the world was changed forever. Billions of people experienced vivid visions of the future. These could not be mistaken for dreams. It seemed to be true precognition. The visions that people had would follow them for the rest of their lives. Like a shadow, the hedgehog. For playing at the worst possible times, it was almost like an intrusive thought. Whether positive or negative in nature, these visions still consumed lives. Thanks for the prime sub, Egg Allergy. Appreciate it. Nobody knew how or why this happened, but it was far too late. Chaos ensued. Those who saw personal success went to great lengths to fulfill their visions. Those who saw personal failures did anything they could to avoid them. It wasn't just a one-time event, either. Kumba Rebi overstayed its welcome. Children and grandchildren grew up alongside this odd phenomenon. They too experienced their own visions around the age of 13. The world became obsessed with the future, obsessed with Como Rebi. It was a word describing sunlight that shines down through the trees, a simple and poetic metaphor for the visions filtering into our world. However, it wasn't a series of visions, nor would they change over time. It was a vision of a single moment, and it would follow you for the rest of your life. For example, if your vision was horrible, you'd still be forced to live it at almost every day. That sounds fucking awful. That's terrifying. What? Why did you think of this conceptually? What? It's like you wanted me to go into a death spiral in my brain. It seemed far from fair, and lies were defined by the moments present presented in people's visions. Thanks for the Prime Sub Ultimate Preds, which means it was free! Okay, I, ha I have my normal pills appointment. Let's see how this goes. What the fuck? I wasn't paying attention what words were being said. Okay, you can you can read or listen to my listen to my voice. You gotta pick one. 
While the Como Rebbe phenomenon was peculiar, there was also something else. Yeah, if there was like some awful vision of the future, I would simply die and stop it from happening. I'm like, nice try, bud. I won't get to the future. What now, bud? What now, Como Rebbe? Some people saw nothing, left completely in the dark with no vision at all. Less than 1% of the world experienced this, a very small group, but it was still extremely worrying. What did seeing nothing mean? Were you dead? Nobody knew. Depression and suicidal ideation became commonplace among this group. They are assigned a counselor who meets with them on a regular basis. Damn, that's like the best mental health care ever thought of. That, that That's better than any system that exists in the modern day. Fucking a government taking care of its minorities? No shot. Thanks for the sub, Fred Ted. I am one of those people. I never experienced my own vision. People always worry for me and fear that I may do something rash. In reality, however, I'm fine. My lack of vision has never defined me. Because I moved to a new city to live with friends, I was given a new counselor. It's kind of lame to start all over after spending so many years with the last one. But I'm told that the doctor is great and I'll feel at home in just a few sessions. That was significantly shorter. All right, news report. What 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 are the, what are they playing in my into my brain? Today marks the 100th anniversary of Como Rebbe. Nobody has ever been the same since then, and I don't think it ever will be. The current state of technology in society is vastly different than it would have been. At the top of it all, right next to the world leaders, is the Argus Corporation. They created the system. They create almost every device we use today. Uh, Apple, Amazon moment. In many ways, they affect our lives even more than those in power. The report is basically going over the history of Como Rebbe and Argus. Do to be honest, but to be honest, it seems a little self-serving and very unnecessary. Isaac was right, it's like they just want to stroke their own egos. They made it mandatory viewing too. If you ignore the special report, you'd lose some points? Fucking Christ, dude. Like, I, I, like a corp corporatism is scary. Like, I, I, corporations are controlling all of society. Really, really scary. I hope that never happens. If you ignore the special p report, you'd lose some points. Essentially, our social status is being held for ransom. But if there's one thing that nobody can monitor, it's what I'm thinking of. So while I'm watching, at least, I have time to gather my thoughts. All right, let's see what the system's doing. Literally 1984. Because of the chaos that ensued during the advent of Como Rebbe, a plan was needed. There were too many people acting recklessly in the face of their futures. Whether avoiding or fulfilling the visions, risky behavior was a constant. A new system was introduced that governed the behavior of the people. You should be held accountable. You would be held accountable for all of your actions, regardless of legality. This was an attempt to keep people in line and focused on the present, live in a safe, orderly manner, and you accrue points over your lifetime. If you did the opposite, you'd lose points. Be rude, speed, litter, stuff like that. Man, we'd be fucked. This stream would, like, get us negative points so goddamn quick. They, like, it, whoever's in charge of running that shit watches one quite VOD, it's over. Your point total would, would define you as either an asset or a liability to society. While primitive at first, this concept grew as a... This concept grew as technology progressed. It is currently integrated into every possible device. Phones, cars, homes. The demand is clear. Be rewarded for your subservience to the system. That's a, like, that's a, like, a really neat concept, or, or, not a neat one, but, a, like, a, something, a story trope I've always kind of, uh, enjoyed toying with in my head is the idea of a society, like, a religious society that worships an AI, at, like, because it's, like, developed to a higher level of intelligence that is incomprehensible to us, but it's, like, tangible. Like, an AI that is, like, fucking, all, like, super fucking, I don't know, all-knowing or whatever. I've always thought... Conceptually, that was that was neat. Maybe not neat. Ter terrifying is more like the word, but you know, interesting to think of nonetheless. Crime and accident rates plummeted due to this, and society is on a, touch, a tight leash. But some people argue that living in change isn't really living at all. Life is all about taking risks and making progress, they say. Flight, fight as they might, however, no movement has resulted in any change. Your worth in society is dictated solely by your score in the system. Me when standardized testing. Generations later, managing your points is simply the norm. Okay, guys, we, we clicked all four words. I am fucking great at video games. I let out a soft sigh and everything suddenly feels better. Thanks for the hundred bits, Milk. It's crazy how much a quick mental breather can help. My, quite, have you heard of this thing called China with their social credit? The thing is, that's like the really easy Reddit joke to make. It's like, yeah, it exists, and it is kind of like... The, the similarities are there, but, like, also, like, credit score. <laughs> My last counselor is the one who taught me that. He told me that our mind is like an office full of filing cabinets. 
If we don't gather our thoughts, they just lay around piling up. We need to- y Yeah, guys, can you believe this is the goddamn furry game? I was playing this because it was funny because of all the fucking furries in it. We need to set some time aside to process and, and filter them. Sometimes a simple metaphor like that can really change the way you think. Unwanted thoughts can be thrown away like trash while you organize the rest. If our mind was a physical space, we'd never neglect it. We'd keep it immaculate. As if it was perfectly timed, the report ends alongside that train of thought. The energy level in the room immediately skyrockets now that we're free! Do not look away from the light box until it is done speaking. You must watch the light box. That's that that goes for the stream as well, guys. Be sh you are not allowed to look away from the monitor until the stream ends. Uh, that that is um mandatory viewing. Honestly, it was a waste. That was an hour we'll never get back. Furry therapy. Something tells me these first few sessions will be a total bust. I never found it fun to talk about myself, and now I'm forced to. Hopefully the notes my last counselor sent over will help him get up to speed. You know, you're something of an anomaly to me. Most people in your situation have less than stellar scores. But you seem to exist in the middle. A truly neutral Bro ground. said people in your situation had like the most... Like... That is the most outcast, like, per, like outcasting way he could have phrased that. Pe like, politically correct way of saying, you people. <laughs> but you seem to exist in the middle. A truly neutral ground. A preliminary look at your risk profile shows me almost nothing. But on the other hand, you haven't done much to gain points either. Another ambiguous statement. I asked him if that was good or bad. I don't know, actually. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I don't know, actually, I wouldn't be able to tell it's you. It's a little ironic, though, isn't it? In regards to the system, I mean. Your score is meant to define you as a person, yet... You elude that definition. Well, yeah, I'm literally like the protagonist character. I'm controlled by the Twitch streamer. Of course I'm different. <sighs> he sighs. Then again, I'm no stranger to attracting those that go against the norm. Would you mind answering a few personal questions for me, Delta? Nothing too intrusive. I just want to get a feel for who you are. I nod, seeing no harm in this. It's why I'm here after all. Well then, let's start with the basics. Why did you move here? What did you leave behind? Big life changes like this are rarely without cause. I shrug, unsure of where to start. There was a lot to say and a little time to say it. At least we have our first few sessions cut out for us. Chat, you literally go feral about any character with a detailed design and a deep voice? Fucking Christ, you all got dunked on. That's the realest shit anyone's ever said in this chat. The only thing needed to secure your defeat is holding the belief that you've already won. Welcome to the first of four fragment maps. This is how you will navigate through your personal experience. The top row is made up of pivotal fragments. You must complete all six, but can complete them in any order. Upon completing all six, you can interact with this arrow to move forward. You will witness a culmination of this fragment map before moving on to the next. Okay. Seems easy enough. The second row enough. consists of personal heart-to-heart -heart fragments. These are optional, but highly recommended, as they are the key to forming bonds and relationships. Right now, you only have access to Isaac and Dante, but what, that she... will change in the next fragment map. Okay. She has this the echo effect on her voice that scares the fuck out of me. Supplemental fragments. These are skits based on exchanges made in your group's chat room. For your benefit, they will be portrayed just like any other fragment. Thanks. Appreciate Upon good UI design. Upon a pivotal fragment. You will unlock a journal entry. These explore Delta's personal thoughts as events slowly unfold. She's the AI god? Damn. There will be five to unlock in each fragment map, and they unlock in a predetermined order. All right, Should sick. you wish, you can also toggle the nostalgia filter. The nostalgia filter? Holy shit. I can, like, make- I can turn off my rose-tinted glasses, dude. This will apply a vintage look to your experience. 
You are now ready to continue your journey unhindered. Somebody said wolf person, Jesus. Check marks will appear beside completed fragments, so you can monitor your progress. It is also recommended that you alternate between various fragment types. Enjoy, and make it an experience to remember. Okay, okay. Would you like to change the status of the nostalgia filter? I gotta see what this looks like. Thanks for the sub, bluest poggers. Okay, it just makes it black and white. Fair enough. I I I don't Would know. I like, like the to color. The status of the okay, what wh what are we where are we starting? We, I I say we start with a pivotal one. Like maybe do two pivotal. Do like a like a da a dating one, and then do a few of the chat ones. That seems fair. This is just like Better Call Saul. <laughs> Just get into fucking animal. Why do you have? Why do you gotta say it like that? Why you gotta say it like that? All right, I'm. I'm Experience a. Experience pivotal fragment. First arrival. Uh, yeah, you know, let's go for that. The people we end up hating are usually the ones we love the most. I I guess kind of. You usually hate someone. Uh, a lot because you used to have. A connection with them that was like fucked sideways and then turned inside out. I grabbed my bags from the trunk, an easy task, so I made sure to pack light. Holy fuck, this is a nice place! The point of this journey was to leave my baggage behind, not carry it with me. Cute. Isaac steps in to help out, and I turn to face the house, my new home. Well, what do you think? The pictures don't do it justice, do they? Eh, it has its quirks, but it served all of us just fine. Big ass motherfucker. It, they get, you got a triangle on your house, dude. That's how you know this shit is bougie. And we're glad to have you, Delta. Ah, look at him! Look at him! He's blushing. Romance. Uh, guys, am I? I'm treading on dangerous. T I'm tr I'm on dangerous waters here. If I describe as the furry designs as cute or endearing, what would the general reaction be? Um, we are, we are in enemy territory right now. <laughs> oh, God. Don't worry. Furry, furry. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's not, guys, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. We'll get along great. And it'll liven things up, too. Don't tell him I said this, but living with Dante can get a little tired. The system heard that. He smiles at me before closing the trunk and locking everything up. I carry two of my bags while he carries the other two, an equal team. We make our way to the front door and place everything down in sync. Guys, Hold it's- on. Guys, I, I, it's- I'm not a furry, I just enjoy the art style and like the facial expression work. It's just very like, skillfully done, that's all. It- Come on, y'all were like- Also. I don't want to hear anything from you, because y'all were so down bad for people with phone heads. Like, holy shit. This is tame by comparison, let's be honest. The other one just doesn't have the stigma, because it's so fucking niche that most people don't know to make fun of it. Hold on. He pulls out his phone and holds it up against the entry scanner. A small beep sounds, and then a moment later, the door unlocks. At least the security system protecting the house was solid. Welcome home. Nah, this is different. Nah, 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 nah. Y'all, y'all, y'all fucking... You were so into the FNAF characters, and I don't blame you. Like, I'm dating one, but like... God, like, y'all, y'all are such hypocrites. Welcome home, Isaac. You may leave the house two more times today. What?! What do you mean?! You can leave the house two more- That's so fucked! Remember, a good score makes a good citizen. That is awful to hear. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Why is this- how does it should do that? That's- that's sick. I definitely muted this stuff the other day. Dante must have freaked out and removed my mods. I that's true. Tampering with the system at home was a big deal. I don't think Isaac was up to anything shady, though. He probably just likes silence. Typically, people would mess with the system when they had something worth hiding. Well, let's get you settled. With how tired you were in the car, I guess you deserve a nap. Two? But- don't mess up your sleep schedule. We gotta watch that report tomorrow. Didn't we already watch it? Or is it a different one? I nod, and now that the door is open, we pick everything up. 
I guess this is like a non-linear thing. Using his shoulder to nudge the door open, we slowly enter the house. I've seen so many pictures of this place, but seeing it for real was incredible. Damn, this bitch open! The living room's incredibly spacious. It looked much smaller when I saw it online. The voice acting in this is pretty good. Yeah, dude, they have an actually, like, fucking stacked cast for this. Like, they, like, it, the industry vets. It's nuts. The living room's incredibly spacious. It looks smaller when I saw it online. One thing that stands out to me, however, is the lack of integrated technology. It looks like a living room frozen in time around 30 years ago. Interesting. This, this site, combined with how Isaac acted at the door, revealed one thing. He must not be a big fan of the system. Not everyone is, though. It's fine. I, I don't think anybody but the people who are, like, getting free yachts because of that shit would be a fan. I think it's actually cool how quickly you learn stuff about people after meeting them for real. Would you date a furry for a big living room? I am. I Well, I ha I'm the dude providing the big living room because I'm incredibly rich, but... I can see Dante sitting on the couch engulfed in his phone. Isaac seems a little mad and confronts him immediately. Hey, Dante. Did you mess with those changes I made the other day? I thought I told you to play along with those. I do it for a reason. Dante's ears perk up and he immediately rises from the couch. I can tell he let his guard down, but he was eagerly awaiting our entrance. Aw, oh, he's all excited. He misses his friends. Whatever kind of first impression he was planning, his lack of awareness destroyed him. Man, can't you see that I'm looking out for you? If they found out about your tinkering, they'd dock you points. Or worse. I'm sure Delta has my back here. Oh, come on. Don't make me fucking do this. Worth it. Putting me on the spot after the second after you meet me? Nice. I scratch my head and Isaac looks at me, likely expecting my support. I have Isaac's back here, his house, his rules. Mm. Man. This is some- This is some boot- This is a boot licking ass sentence. I agree with Dante. Ideals aside, legal trouble is never worth it. It, like, depends. Like, never? Never? Of course he has blue hair and pronouns. Okay, hear me out, look at him. I mean, he's got a very aloof demeanor. Which you guys would fall for instantly. You're so predictable. But, um... I don't know, I think I'm gonna go with the blue one, just cause... That's the more fun answer. True, but it's only a matter of time before we're tried as accomplices. I would simply just not get caught, unlike you, who is slow. Argus may be many things, but forgiving isn't one of them. Look at how the zeros are treated. See what I mean? That's not- like, call it- the word zeros in this context sounds like a slur. Like, there's gotta be an official term, like, like, for the, like, the amount of points they have. But you just call them zeros, literally thinking of people as numbers, dude. Let's just change the topic, alright? I know I brought it up, but I don't want our first meeting to be an argument. Besides, I work for Argus. I know what I'm doing when I make changes. This mother- this is like the equivalent of working for Lockheed Martin. <laughs> If by work you mean enforce the system on others, then sure. You do a lot of things that you'd report other people for doing. Damn! Hey, not Called fair. Out. I may tamper with some hardware, but I never the hundred break bits. laws. You'd be surprised how much you can bend the rules without breaking them. Like a rubber band. I don't bed. know how many times I have to say this, but please, just trust me. Dante shrugs. Fine. Still the best deal on housing I've come across. Can you at least tamper with the system and let us skip that report tomorrow? If you're gonna bend the rules, might as well do something practical with it. Okay, buddy. Uh, that one toes the line way too much. I'll have to pass. It's only an hour, just put in some earbuds or something. Dude, fucking an hour of having to watch the weekly report sounds like when you were as a kid, had to go to like mass for an hour, and would just sit there doing nothing, being bored out of your mind and like, I wanna play Pokemon right now. I'm gonna go help Delta unpack and get a bit of rest in. Alright, fair enough. But if Argus ever comes knocking, just know that I won't hesitate before turning you Damn, in. Damn, he's a snitch! You, you're a fucking snitch! Shit friend, shit friend. That eager to get me in handcuffs, huh? It's all part of the plan. Dante steps forward with a laugh and holds out his hand. I was hoping to hang out for a bit, but I get that you're tired. If you want to bond or whatever, you know where to find me. I shake his hand and give him a soft nod. If we're gonna be roommates, it makes sense to bond. I let him know that I'll find him as soon as I get some shut-eye. Perfect. And make sure to prod Isaac for me. 
he's way too tight-lipped about the nightclub outing this weekend. What? That smile, like, dude, every time I see it, that smile just gets more dangerous. That, that, this could be a problem. Hey, thanks for ruining the surprise. Your fault, keeping secrets from your friends like that. I shrug, I knew that Isaac would plan a party, so it's no big deal. Dante smirks at me and then returns to his spot on the couch. I've met people like him before, an agent of social chaos. Your friend seems pretty cool, Isaac. Maybe I should start trusting you a bit more often. <laughs> a group like us? <laughs> Add Taylor to the mix and we'll do great things. Okay. Isaac scoffs, but then quickly displays a large smile as Dante becomes lost in his phone. <sighs> Head always in the clouds, that one. I almost prefer when he locks himself in his room to write. Before we pick up your luggage, though, hold on a sec. This has been a long time coming, and I never got a chance to at the airport. Oh no. Oh no, what's coming? He steps forward and wraps his arms around me? <laughs> um... Do I- do I have the... Um, yeah. <clears throat> um... Wow. Wow. Feeling loved and- Damn, I am touch-starved. Oh wait, no, I, I, I layered them on accident. He steps forward and wraps his arms around me. I do the same, and we stand there for a few moments in a tight embrace. I have no idea why this is the first time I felt it, but this really was the fresh start I wanted. Welcome home, Delta. And just like Dante said, great things. He looks like furry Dan TDM! You motherfuckers are evil! I released a hug with a big smile on my face. This was it, finally, the start of my new life. Oh wait, shit. Sorry, I just had a video idea and I have to write it down before I fucking forget about it. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see. I, may, I, I have to write down blue hair and pronouns as a video idea. Could be funny, could be huge even. The way he says, welcome home. Bruh. Do you guys want to do one of the chat-based ones? This will become available in future Fragment Maps. Let's go, new vid. It's just an idea. I have, like, a really long list, and they don't always make it to the actual, like, making video stage. What is this? Cancer. I have it. Not this game. I Just in general, I have it. Experience. Supplemental Fragment. Delta's arrival? Yeah. I love how I'm watching this, and in the background, my wa my brother is watching some very gory movie. Delta has officially arrived. Damn, is this an order? Sweet, and not Rabbit. a moment too soon. Everything going good so far? Who is this? Who's the voice actor for this one? Oh, this one is a uh, Michael Kovac. This is a uh, Angel Dust voice actor. I'm pretty sure. Goddamn, danger, danger alert! Yeah, definitely good. And listen up, all that stuff Isaac yapped about—it's totally true. Hey, <laughs> he means that in a good way, Delta. Don't worry, it's not like you're a stranger. That gives you an instant edge in my books. You guys immediately said, fuck the rabbit. Like, you heard rabbit and were like, fuck! Like, word, you, you have word association built in your head. Zootopia has ruined a generation. Yeah, reputation was definitely preceded. We heard all kinds of things. Some of them were even good. Either way, it's nice to see somebody live up to the hype. Thanks for coming. And allow me to say, welcome aboard. Yeah, I'll echo that one. Welcome aboard. Remember, now that you're in the group chat, <laughs> It's official. This is this is how friend group dynamics work. When you get added to the group chat, you are officially a real person. Whoever it's like getting verified before. on Twitter. It just doesn't matter anymore. That's um in a purely like, you know, just like ratio, like fe feature ratio sense, like on the in like what the human brain like finds to evoke the feeling of uh, you know, cuteness. It's pretty cute. On a pure on a purely like scientific and like steady level. Not nothing more than that. Like it's just design. It's like literally designed to evoke those emotions. That's all. This is um this is just a purely objective viewing of the situation. It's just an analysis. 
You're better now. <laughs> oh, bro, just called me like a fucking piece of shit. Guys, remember when I told you to give Delta a normal greeting? Nope. Let me pop Typical. that pee. Try to pop some more peas? Well, now that the red carpet is rolled out, you still on for this weekend, Taylor? Yeah. Excited to see what all the fuss is about. You're being way too secretive. No way we're just going to the club. Don't worry, it'll Maybe all make FK sense. Twigs and I in know the club. discretion isn't exactly your strong suit. And subtlety isn't yours, but I'll yield. I already told my viewers I wasn't streaming anyway. <gasps> Not even an IRL. Ooh. Whatever you've got planned, I'll he's just like me. Grave. Guys, he's legit. He's literally me. He's just like me. He's a fucking. He's a Twitch streamer. No shot. Dateable Twitch streamer? Uh, not real. Not likely. Twitch streamer getting pussy? No shot. It's not real. It does not happen. And if he was like actually good at his job, he would be agonizing over missing one. Like he he would be like, I can't go to the club. I have to stream tonight. I need to fucking make. I need to get more subs on Twitch. Good. I have a theory. Yeah. I think Isaac finally cracked. Needs help hiding a body. Not true. And what proof do you have? You just like me for real? You're still alive. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put a stop to that one real quick. I don't want this group chat putting me up on a witness stand one day. No scandals. Got it. Fuck. I'm trying to clap this gnat flying around my room. I'm going to get it. Right. No scandals. Boring. 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 Ugh, you're so boring. Boring. Here's something Just that like might change I your mind then. There's a chance we could end up on the news. Pressure. <laughs> the news? And you thought we were being extra. Anything else you want to drop on us? Don't worry, I'll be nice. Not sure. Most of this is up in the air. Well, you promised to be fun, so I guess that's the rabbit's kind of growing on you. Even if it feels like yeah, the first impression up, like along. took some time, but I, I don't know his characterization and like the other poses. I can I can like analytically uh, ascertain that he is cute. That's all from a, like a purely theoretical like point of view. All right, that that's it's it's just I'm just running the numbers. That's all. You know me, I'd never do that. And trust me, it'll be amazing. Just don't drink too much. We don't want a repeat of, uh, the incident. This was labeled as horror? I mean, the world setup is, like, very dystopian, so I can see it to some extent being like that. Not my proudest moment. Keep it down around Delta, all right? Then I guess you should be on your best behavior. Oh, uh, they included the asterisk in the- they included the little wavy line at the end in the text. That's- this symbol, I don't know what it's called, but this just ev oozes sex. Like, you cannot write this without there being sexual tension following. <laughs> Blackmail? What did I just say about scandals? Hey, it's only a scandal if he turns it into one. <laughs> That's not how that it's works. It's called a tilde? And look, Tilled? Delta hasn't even said anything. I, I knew we'd scare them away in a matter of seconds. Send a popcorn emoji to try breaking the ice. Thanks for the warm welcome. I kind of feel like royalty. Would I, would, I think I would probably say something like really snarky and charismatic and be like, Oh my god, this guy's so aloof and unaffected by everything. And then I'd be like shaking in my boots over if the, it goes over well. Popcorn emoji. I want to I want to say prop popcorn emoji. Yeah, I forgot this is being typed. Like this is this is all through text. Popcorn. <laughs> Perfect response. <laughs> go to. I knew you were gonna be our comic relief, Delta. Do a good job, and you'll go from guest star to main cast easy. There, he's literally already setting up the social hierarchy. And there goes Dante, treating everything like a work of fiction. This is real life, dude. It doesn't always work out like you expect. But when it does, it's always worth Fuck, the wait. Get away from God Besides, damn it. it's not like a little silver lining ever hurt anybody. Except for the people it hurt, you mean? <laughs> Anyway, there's lots to do, so we should get back to it. It's text, yeah. The sooner yeah. we help Delta settle in, the sooner we can relax. 
Ooh, crack open a cold one for me. I need to start streaming. Hopefully I can retain some of the followers I got from that charity game. This motherfucker has only did the charity stream for like the boosted numbers it gave him. What a king. He is just like me for real. You're gonna be fine. It's not like you were doing bad to begin with, but yeah, time to put down our phones. Labor awaits. Let me know how it goes. I'll come and meet Delta soon enough. Sounds great. See ya. Buggers. Can you stop the stream? I gotta go to the bathroom. We take bathroom breaks every now and then. Haha, <laughs> real life. Can you imagine if everybody in real life was a furry and like an anthropomorphic animal? Haha, <laughs> that'd be crazy. But that's not real life. His, who plays the rabbit? The voice actor for Angel Dust does. Uh, Michael Kovac. I think I'm saying his name right. Uh, let's do a few text message ones. And then I want to do one of the relationship building ones. Experience supplemental fragment. Noise complaint. Oh, come on, dude. I got to deal with this shit in real life. Don't make me deal with this in the video game, man. Thanks to the Prime Sub Panther boss. Wait, you're not a furry quite? I'm so shocked. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a furry. Thanks hey, for the sub. Can you keep it Yemi, down appreciate there? it. No. <laughs> hey! Come on, Me to my man. mother who does not I exist. And I, I came I into existence in the void. And I have work right now. Music helps me focus. Then put on some headphones, Dante. Or... He said that with so much derision. Oh, seriously? I'm being nice. Hey, both of you, stop. This group chat isn't the place for your lover's quarrel. I'm trying to stream and you keep blowing up my phone. This is me DMing on Discord in the middle of the stream and shit. Just getting distracted from chat because I, like, I gotta answer somebody back. Can't you just turn it off then? The world doesn't revolve around you, man. Yeah, one of us is working. Taylor, pull your viewers and see what they say. Dude, that's such an abuse of power. Like, it, like you have a friend who's like, Famous like, hey, do this with your numbers. It's like, do what I say right now. It, no. Based. But you owe me one. Remember that net outage during your charity stream? Ah, fine, hold on. God, God, he folded so quickly. Several minutes passed without any chat activity. Just as I thought. They don't care. <laughs> if they were really, if he was doing his job right, they'd be parasocial enough that they would do, they'd be interested in anything he was saying. I don't know, bro. Uh, it seems like he's he's like kind of failing in his role as a streamer if he's not uh, making his viewers feel like friends when they're not. Actually, that's what that's what we have going on here, right, guys? We're all friends, and that's why you guys give me money because we're friends. You guys care about everything I say, right? 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 We have so much fun talking to each other when I'm in charge of what we're talking about. <laughs> Ouch! Damn it! Almost got it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's really a good one, guys. That's a really funny one, guys. <laughs> good one. You guys are so funny. This is such a good friends. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I actually just got a $50 donation. It says Dante's headphone fund. Now that's more like it. This guy's good at his job. <laughs> then I win. <laughs> I think Dante wins, actually. Being stubborn pays off once again. Who said, who said the streamer is going to give you the money, dude? It's in his bank account. He can just say say it's for headphones and then just not give you the money for headphones. Transfer that money to me and I'll buy a pair tomorrow. Isaac, one more night with the music and it'll Thanks all Thanks for the sub, pernicious self. I promise. Fine. But if you don't follow through, I'm raising your rent. Landlord moment! Landlord moment! Controversial. Anyway, now you both owe me. In the future, work this out at home, all right? Don't make me take advantage of my viewers. It feels wrong. What kind of streamer are you? Fair. Don't take advantage of your viewers? That's like the point! What do you mean? Oh, no. That's a hell of an expression. He's got, he's got like, some strong, like, some lots of muscles in his face to make that face. Another donation! Look what you've started. Why are you complaining about getting money? Just don't give it to- just don't give it to Isaac or to Dante. Pocket it, dude. Perform like some embezzlement. Score.
No more money. Not taking advantage of your viewers is a turnoff, right? Yeah, I don't- I just don't really care for somebody with a strong moral compass. It kind of, like, makes me feel like I'm the worst person in a relationship. I need somebody either, like, on my level in the mud or worse. I don't know. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta do the, a quick ad break and get some water. Also, I gotta fucking pee my balls out. Shut up, cat. Why are you being such a fucking stuck-up piece of shit? You ain't saying shit. You were all talking a minute ago. Nothing happened? Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad nothing happened while I was gone. Alright, guys. Back to um, critically examining furries and nothing else. Is he meowing? Yeah, my cat. Okay, so are we feeling another text combo? I'm thinking like text combo, um, pivotal, and then one of these. I want to do one more text one. Experience supplemental fragment. Shady business. Ooh, the game's first drug deal. Very excited. research purposes. It's the scientific method. You wouldn't get it because you're not a scientist like me. An awkward silence permeates through the group chat. Where is everybody? At work, trying to close a sale. It's actually a pretty big deal. Damn, big business moves. Oh, good luck with that. I'm with Taylor right now. He thought it'd be a good idea for me to guest on his stream. Oh boy. Wait, Taylor accepts guests now? Everyone wanted to meet me after the headphone incident. Apparently, I became a meme in his chat. <laughs> Y'all with Anthony. <sighs> Wonderful. Yep. I'm Dante the headphone guy. You are- you have been reduced to a Seinfeld bit character. This is the only personality trait you will have forever now. Your parents will be so proud. I'm writing them a letter as we speak. And I can't talk to you anymore. I'm too famous now. Based. Oh, already forgetting your friends. I think I've found my true calling. Is Anthony a real person? Yeah, let me show you. Uh, Anthony's a good friend of mine. Anthony is a good friend of mine, but I, I gotta find a picture of us together. Uh, this is Anthony. He's a really cool guy. Um, I don't know, we just- we really get on. He's like- he's just like- I've been there for 
with me and a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is Anthony. Anyways. He's doing a good job, actually. <laughs> he should stream in his spare time. You really think people would want to watch me write? You have lots of followers. I'm sure they'd love to see the process. Dude, if you guys watched me write, it would be like looking at- it would be like watching an insane man, like, slowly spiral into madness. Because it's just me talking to myself and making really vague gestures. I think it's worse when I'm writing a song than it is for my videos. And maybe I'll do it after this weekend. I'm way too excited for our nightclub trip. Speaking of which, my viewers are a little upset. Are you sure I can't tell them anything about this, Isaac? <laughs> Not even a little clue? Nope. And in other news, the sale was closed. Good job. Drinks are on you then? Don't worry about it. Already taken care of. Wait, seriously? Seriously. Damn. Taylor, I think Isaac is caught up in shady business. Oh shit. Thanks for the hundred bits, bloodstained hymen. Our paragon of virtue? <laughs> no way. What the fuck? Sorry, cat just bolted across the room. Seriously? He's always home late, and now he's even dodging our questions. He just wants to treat us. You're reading into it too much. You say that now. Oh, come on, man. When have I ever lied to you? On several occasions, including yesterday. Are you wanting me to get out the list? Hmm. Very cool. <clears throat> okay, I'm thinking... Do we want to do these in order, like just left to right, or do we want to get like a little funky with like what we're playing around with? You're not even paying attention to the game, you're just here for the eye candy? I mean, the character interactions are like, in the world design, is really well thought out, so... Honestly, I want to get a little silly. Because it, it's out of- it seems like non-linear as is. Um, I kind of want to do this one. This art looks cool. Experience pivotal fragment. Meeting Taylor. Yeah, this is already out of order, so I don't know if it's like. Oh wait, no, no, no. Is it? We'll find out. I'm getting funky like it's Friday, even though it's Wednesday. Someone out there wants to be you just as much as you want to be others. Um, I don't like. I don't. This game is like kind of attacking all of my insecurities. I'm really not okay with this. The noise sounds like the beginning of on-site- Wait, no, 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 Flinders, Flinders, do the edit. Flinders, do the edit. Do the exact one. It, it, the soundtrack of this game was produced by Kanye West. The, the, Ka Kanye made this album. That's, that's in the game. Yeah, Kanye made the soundtrack. I sat at a table with Isaac and Dante slowly chipping away at my dinner. Eating as a group isn't something we do every day, but today was special. I'd finally go meet Taylor. He's pretty busy, so I've only seen him in the group chat. I know he's a streamer and an internet personality, but I don't know much else. See, this is like the thing about beating streamers. You can just watch their content and find out who they are. Assuming they're not lying, which we all are. Come on now. It's cool that someone popular like him was taking time out to hang out with me, though. I've heard a lot about the guy, so I signed up for this group outing with no hesitation. You signed up? Damn, you must be a busy man. You gotta, like, book out your your schedule. <laughs> book out your schedule. I'm told this is the spot for our group. Whenever they wait to hang out, it's usually- Whenever they want to hang out, it's usually here. Apparently they have the best hangover breakfast, too. Damn, Delta! You're inhaling that! For some reason, I thought this was, like, this- this spelled dick. For some reason. I- brain's not working right Can't now. Can't tell us we're exaggerating anymore, then. This is the best place in town. Full stop. Yeah. Definitely excited to come here Saturday morning. It's part of your master plan, isn't it? Hey, nice try, Dante. No more info till Taylor gets here. And even then, we should let him and Delta get to know each other. Can people draw you as a furry? I can't exactly stop you, but because I'm not a furry, and Sakura not being a furry, do whatever. Because... You know, it's not like I'm a furry or anything. Why would it? Why would it? Why would that matter? Don't you think the nightclub would be better for that? You know how Taylor gets after a couple drinks. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Total lightweight that one. Before anyone else can talk, 
Taylor steps in. Hey, is that a compliment or an insult? Dude's the tallest person in the room by, de by default. Yes. With a scoff, he sits down beside me and holds out a fist. I bump mine against his and then he lets out an exaggerated yawn. Resting one arm on the back of the booth, it felt like he was about to pull me in. <laughs> Look at those eyes. Ah, nice to meet you, Delta. Even prettier in person. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. He went right for it, dude. No hesitation. It's that Twitch streamer confidence. Always getting their ego boosted by their Twitch chat. Literally me. This is literally me just flirting with myself. Just, th I love the icon for this. It's just thumbs up. Flirt back? Might as well. Oh, I was talking about me. <laughs> streamer moment. I guess you look pretty good as well. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're a knockout. Don't forget it. Yeah, I know. It's okay. I know. I mean, have you guys seen me? Look at me. Can't you tell I'm, I'm incredibly attractive? <sighs> Still your goal to flirt with all my friends, I see. I'm getting pretty good at it, too. He moves his arm from where it was and then points at the table. A pair of headphones rest in front of Dante. That They get Taylor's attention. Those are the headphones my chat bought you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he kept his end of the bargain, Isaac? No more loud music keeping you up at night? Damn, so these the text conversations give a lot of context for like what's going to happen in the pivotal moments. So I guess we should work... It might be worth working our way through all of those before we do the pivotal ones, just so we have like the full context for some shit. Surprisingly, he did. Perfect. No more fighting now, you hear me? Someone's gotta keep you kids in line. You guys know what has really fucking me up? I just realized he's wearing the same clothes as Saiyan's Undertale. Blue jacket. <laughs> Pitch black shirt. Blue eyes, even. It's... It's... It's Saiyan's. It's Saiyan's. I'm sorry, guys. I, 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 had to, I had to ruin this for you. I know that'll make him more fuckable to a few of y'all, but... I... Anyway, let's get down to business. This whole nightclub thing? I looked at their website and not a single special event is listed. Yeah, this is private. Just for us. We are breaking in. We do not have a right to be on the premises at the time we're planning on going. I am a known criminal. That means the whole news thing probably won't happen. But the other plans haven't changed. We still have an open bar. <gasps> Perfect. That's all I cared about anyway. Man, Wait, they're putting a lot of emphasis on this nightclub. That's a pretty big change to gloss over, man. Why was the media even a possibility in the first place? Oh, oh right. so I'm gonna say before My I bad. forget. They never announced the. Event, I don't want to have so another repeat of the Mothman shit, them. dude. The plans where I have to speed run to the game to finish it. Though. Don't worry. And those are. Uh... I'm introducing all of you to a new friend. He's in town, and he said drinks are on him. Oh, damn. That's all you get, though. The rest is a surprise. For real. Danger. <laughs> There's more? That seems like all of it to me. A friend is visiting and buying us drinks. You timed it with Delta's arrival, too. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to become a problem, isn't it? Isaac lets out a nervous laugh and rubs the back of his head. I can tell that he's acting. There's a bit more to his plans for sure. Watching quite while trying to do my nails is definitely an experience I'm not very fond of. What are you trying to say? What do you mean by What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Oh, I've got it. I know who we're meeting. Oh shit. Huh? Isaac went and got himself a sugar daddy. <laughs> I guess Argus isn't paying good enough anymore. Yeah, Silicon Valley jobs just don't cut it these days. What? No. That makes perfect sense, actually. Unless you'd like to prove us wrong. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> I see what you're doing. Nice try. It's not going to work. Just wait until Friday. It's not Fucking. even that far away. Speaking of which, you're all still down to pregame? Of course. Sounds good to me. I'm making a big list of snacks, too. Is that... Are those sun rays, or is that, like, smoke coming off of him? Great. I'll pick up some of the booze and juice. Let's get started around 4 p.m. Sound good? Damn, that's early for drinking, man. Day drinking? Day drinking. A moment later, the server comes and hands us our bills. I notice that mine has the discount Isaac assigned to my identity. 
This is probably a good time to ask him more about it. It still feels wrong. Oh, he did that to you as well? He fooled me too, I gotta admit. Huh? All of that stuff is just taken out of his paycheck. And if it's not, he's just abusing his friends and family discount. Aw, nice guy. He's definitely not as dark and brooding as you think. <sighs> Thanks for ruining it, dude. I just wanted to be nice and impress Delta. <laughs> Besides, it's a valid cover-up. Nobody really wants to accept pity money. Well, now that you've classified it as pity money, I now I feel dirty about it. Hi, Delta. Official tapped in at the perfect time. It's lit, dude. It literally has your name on it. Like the the main character of this of this game that I'm playing as is named Delta. Nutty. The fact that I'm jobless is now more apparent than ever. Broke. I appreciate Isaac's gesture, but I did save up a lot before moving. It'll help me out, but it wasn't necessary. I thank him just clear just to clear the air. No problem. Glad to know you appreciate it. Very dating sub. I always want to help, no matter how. It Protagonist comes. in the chat. It just felt better to remove any chance of offending you. PC. This w the world is so PC these days. He glances at Taylor as he says that. I'm assuming you didn't react well to Isaac's quote-unquote pity money. But I can actually understand how that would wound someone's pride. Well, I've come to love it. Trust me. But right now, there's an even bigger dilemma at hand. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you aren't getting, like, thousands of dollars for stake gambling deals. Come on, now. He opens the menu and looks it up and down. Just what do I order? I need, you know, I need to keep that fucking thing on lock. Wait, 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 let's do it. Let's do a text one. Experience supplemental fragment. Betrayal. Oh, I'm gonna keep that tabbed. I'm gonna keep that tabbed. Kanye. Kanye moment. That's a song- that's a saw a sound from a Kanye song. Hey. I'm gonna be home late tonight. Again? Again. Again? What's going on? Nothing, really. Just a lot of sales to close. Raking in the cash lately, huh? Ha, I wish. <sighs> but not really. Already capped my commission for the month. Isn't that good? I don't know how commission works in sales. Wait, what? What incentive is there to sell products then? Not getting uh, fired? I don't want to get fired? Best. Oh, valid. <laughs> Sides, I'm hoping to nab that promotion next year. Putting in this extra work just seems like the right thing to do. <laughs> Come on now, we know that's not how promotions work. You're still on about that? Why are you a furry? I'm not a furry. I'm just playing this game for its story and uh, world building. That's all. Why are you? Why are you making it weird? Weird. Of course. I don't know if that's a good idea. Why not? You, with more responsibility. Okay, we're fighting now. Just start. Put the fists up. Start beating the shit out of each other. I'm prepared. No. Remember what I said about fighting in here. <sighs> Either way, good luck with the promotion. I bet it's already yours. Thanks, Taylor. First At phase denial. It's me. not denial, it's just a statement of the truth. Just not a furry, am I? Simply simply doing this for story purposes. I'm just, guys, I'm just playing the game for the plot. Like, what do you mean? I never said I didn't believe. You didn't have to. Yeah, we can read between the lines. What lines? I totally plan to treat all the people that rooted for me. So don't think I'll forget about this betrayal, Dante. Damn, he said you're a fake. He literally just called you a fake one. Betrayal? I'm just looking out for you, man. Don't want you to bite off more than you can chew. <sighs> I'm honestly surprised. Hmm? Thanks for the sub, time or for the prime sub. Buried in books. You're, I can't read your name. <laughs> Figured you'd know how to read a room by now, too. Like, guys, I need I need you to I need you to envision it in your envision it in your head. Um, title that says. Furry dating sim. And it's got one of my, like, fucking thirst trap thumbnails on it. Like, come on now. Don't tell me that's not gonna pop. Cut, like, let, let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Plus, this, this whole bit has been great for chat interaction. Like, y'all are falling for this head over heel. It's incredible. I'm literally telling you it right now by, with my entire MO and you're still doing it. It's incredible. Okay. We're fighting now. 
I'm prepared. <laughs> wait, wait. Every time, every time, baby, every time. Yeah, there's it's it's literally just for content. There's definitely not something deeper going on here. Um Yeah, not nothing nothing to uh research further into and don't don't so don't bother trying. Um anyways, text message. Experience supplemental fragment. Pre-game plans. You you love to see it. Quite on begging, I just want to sleep. I mean, the VOD will be here tomorrow if you're really that tired. It's just you would be missing out because the streams are epic and you wouldn't be here for when it's live, which is like really lame. Hey, question. Potential answer. You all down to pregame before the nightclub? Real. <laughs> like you even had to ask. Fair enough. Taylor? <laughs> Absolutely. And Delta? Of course, full send. The di the di there is a dialogue option that says full send. Incredible. Love to hear it. I'll pick up a few things. Any suggestions? Vodka. I mean, yeah, easy answer. Champagne. D come on, we're going for we're going to a nightclub. Champagne is like a New Year's drink, dude. Cranberry juice. Vodka crane. A simple man. A simple man. A vodka crane is a very safe option. I can respect that. Orange juice. You're just you're just being contrarian. Whoa! Slow down. Remember, all the drinks at the club are covered. There's no need to be extravagant here. Sheesh. Isaac, this is an excuse to be as extravagant as possible. If we were paying for both, we'd all be broke when we got home. Thanks for the sub, Jack fans. Let's splurge, at least a little bit. If the bar is covered, we can pregame like royalty. That is such an odd way to justify wasting money. Or you could just be like me and be absurdly rich. I have billions of dollars. Money is no object to me. I literally wipe my ass with it because it's more like the money I could be making by not going to the store and buying it is like less money or it's it's like the money I'd be losing by not working is less money than if I just wipe my butt my butt with hundred dollar bills. Let's be honest. I don't know, Isaac. He has a point. You're hyping this up to be the best night ever. Do you want you live to alone in a content house? Held back Shut up. No I hate you so much. It's not holding back, it's saving money. And I never said it'd be the best night ever. I only promised fun. If you fall victim to your own expectations, that's all on you. <laughs> you said we might Jillian be on the best news. Mod. You guys know how to set them against each other so well. Just say you like a mod more than another one and they will be at each other's throats and you guys can get away with anything. You said we have access to an open bar. Exactly. Tons of fun. <sighs> Buzzkill. Hold on. I wasn't finished yet. As much as I want to save money, you do have a point. We're lucky. It's just me we and Joe going, going at it. That's fair. That this night will be memorable. That's a luxury we shouldn't waste. So, let's do our best to make it even more memorable. <laughs> now you're talking. And I like what I hear. Where'd this man of wisdom come from, and what did he do with Isaac? I'm growing! B like like boners? Truly heartwarming. <laughs> Wolf over every other mod on Discord, so best. Okay, I kind of want to just get all the text conversations out the way. Do a dating one. Do like three priorities and then do the last one and then like the last priority if that makes sense. I got it mapped out in my head basically. Experience supplemental fragment. The quantum leap. That's an ominous ass name. Hey. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Up? I almost forgot. Okay, back to it. Ugh, I am now. What's up? I know we're all focused on the nightclub thing lately, but did any of you start to think about New Year's Eve? <laughs> <laughs> One thing at a time, man. Is it even Christmas yet? No, I, I have a good idea, so hear me out. We're gonna do the Quantum Leap. To celebrate, we are going to go back in time and destroy the, all of history. The what? What? 
The time warp? Now you're just putting random words together. It's a thing, I swear! That's like where it's New Year's where you are, you get drunk, then you drive to a different time zone where it's not New Year's yet, and you do it again. Never heard of it. <sighs> all right, I'm pretty, all right. I'm pretty sure Listen that's up. what it is. You gather friends in a voice call, all from different time zones. You take a shot at midnight. Take another shot at midnight. Then another. Oh, so this guy is doing, like, the terminally on live version of that. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no drive. You take a flight. You take a flight. It's like, there are some people who will, like, celebrate, uh... They'll be, like, in the airport in, 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 on the East Coast, get really drunk at midnight, fly to the West Coast, and then fucking get drunk there again at midnight. Not drive, sorry. Wrong, wrong word. But yeah, this is the uh, terminally online version of that. Doing it at a Discord call. See where I'm going with this? Whoa. Multiple midnights. The best part of New Year's Eve over and over. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. Why give the rabbit real teeth but not the wolves? I mean, they seem like pretty and like accurate to what they would be in real life. Like the motherfuckers got the buck teeth. The wolves have, like, the canines. You're using time zones to promote alcohol abuse? Wonderful. You love to see it! I, like I said, he's literally like me, for real. It's not abuse. And, and don't lie to us, Isaac. We all know you'd be drinking that much anyway. You'll need a bit more than that to sell me on the idea. Well, think about it this way. If you have multiple crushes, then that's multiple midnight kisses. You're on Discord, dude. You're not- nobody's getting any play here. <gasps> Sold. Wait, what? Who, who are you planning to kiss at midnight, let alone fourth midnight? It's a surprise! Don't even worry about it. The goddamn smile again, man. It's Just like the charisma hat from SAO Bridge. I will destroy you. This is gonna be such a disaster. What? Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, two more of these text chat ones, I think. Experience supplemental fragment meeting a zero again. That seems like such a goddamn slur. They even capitalized the Z in universe slur. That's got to be one of the for people creating fictional like minorities and fictional societies. Thinking of words that are slurs for those that group of people has to be a fucking trip. zero on the street a couple hours ago. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Wait, 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 wait. You go outside? Funny. You can't use the hard O. I had some errands to run, but he seemed hungry. Asked to eat some of the food I bought. Oh, that happened to me in Delta the other day. <laughs> yeah, I was there too. Felt kind of bad for the guy. I didn't know it was really true how they can't enter our stores. Dude, holy shit. Segregation is real in the Como Rebbe universe. This is insane. Yeah. They aren't chipped like we are. No ID to speak of. I really hope that you gave him some food, Dante. Imagine they, they literally chipped? Oh my god. Imagine making your own ideal world and you make racism in it. Yeah, th this is legit just a dystopian story that the author wanted to tell, but instead of using folks that are like people, they're like, hmm, I think I will use anthropomorphic animals. Uh, yeah, of course. I bought a ton since we're pre-gaming today. You know, I kind of feel bad. Partying while they're rallying for some basic necessities? I mean, true, but w what would not partying do to, uh, uh, like, materially help them? Should have invited them over. Showed them what life in the city is like. Sheltering a zero and giving them access to city goods? Oh, I can literally hear your score going down, man. Ah, you know me. I just like bringing people together. Besides, it'd be a petty crime. What the fuck is pre-gaming? This, this is how I know some of y'all are young. Pre-gaming is like when, before you go out on a night out, you drink at like one of, you or like one of your friends' houses first. Like you have more to drink before you actually, you have a little to drink before you actually go out. Guys, don't do the ZLM stuff, please. Seems kinda... Like, it's it's one thing to, like, talk about it in the context of the story. It's another to, like, do that with, like, real-life phenomenon and shit. I'm not even gonna touch that one. Sounds like a scandal to me. 
Not too late. I mean, get timed out if you want. Fine, fine. I just wanted to do a good deed. How about you start putting out the snacks and booze then? This party starts in a few Plus, hours if you want to stick to your schedule. I, I, I want you to understand how this reads. Zero lives matter sounds like you're saying, like, no lives matter. Like, it's like edgy Reddit shit, dude. Sure. Want to help when you get home? Not really, but I will. It's the least I can do, since you organized the whole thing. Dante being generous? Wow, this really is a special day. What's the si significance of yellows being- or words being highlighted in yellow? I've seen that a lot, and I can't find a pattern of shit like that happening. I'll stop by early so I can help you set up. Just let me finish a few more episodes of this show. Sounds good to me. And Delta? Just had a cat just keyboard sit moment, back real. And relax. This night is- Yeah. One we can all remember. We probably will not remember it if we're getting as shit-faced as we planned. Unless you go overboard again. Hey, bring that up one more time, and you're going overboard. Ooh, drama! At least now I have some entertainment while I prepare. Damn it. Hold on, let me go make some popcorn. Quick, move your chat somewhere, please. Wait, where, where do you want me to put it? Do you want me to put it over the fucking center of the screen where it's awkward as shit? You want me to put it, like, over here? Like, listen, man. It, it'll be- you know what? It probably would be better here for now. Just with, with the, the way the uh, text aligns. My alliance. suffering isn't entertainment! <laughs> it really is. Hey, can I get extra butter on that? I've decided that calories don't exist this weekend. Sure thing. Just make sure to keep an eye on I'll Dante. I'll be munching on sticks and of butters for real. don't stop fighting, either. I'm loving the energy. Uh... Mandatory. <laughs> But, like, you see how awkward this looks, like, when it's just over the menu? I don't know, like, the, the lines are all voiced out, you know? Alright, one more text Experience. conversation. Supplemental fragment. A weird feeling. Me when I boner. <laughs> Shut the fuck up with that noise. What, you, what noise? I'm on my way over. But, admittedly, I'm a little bummed out. What happened? Also, we're almost set up for the party already. Well, I was really getting into this show. Like, the next episode was supposed to be all-out war. Oh, no. But instead of that, they focused on completely different characters. Just moved to the other side of the world at the worst possible time. Cliffhanger moment. Did it all take place in the same room? Yeah. That's a bottle episode, man. Bottle episode? And you thought Quantum Leap sounded weird. It's just something they do in the industry. It either kills the momentum or becomes a masterpiece. Hmm. Uh, plan to elaborate at all? Nope. Well, he mentioned they were going to war, right? They probably need to put a lot of money into that. You know, like CGI, music, all that fun stuff. Love me, love me some production cost. Some VFX crunch, all the good oh, stuff. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. It lets them put more of the budget into the important episodes. They typically reuse sets and focus on main characters with no secondaries. So what you're saying is that the next episode will be incredible. Well, they could be, but I don't know. I actually prefer the bottle episodes myself. Bruh. A smaller, more intimate character study? Right up my alley. Oh god, but he's a I've film bro. For he's like, and have you ever seen American Psycho? I love, I love, I love the main character played by Christian Bale. Have you ever seen Fight Club? Hold on. You've changed the way I think about TV shows. I, I just figured every episode had the same budget. He writes books. This is true. This is true. He is an author. Loser writes words. I bet he can read, too. Not even close. So that one episode with the fly in the lab? Bottle. <laughs> what about the one where no one's ready? Big bottle and an instant classic. Sometimes they take the easy way out and just do a clip show episode. You know, highlighting all the best times those characters have had. Yeah, anime-ass, like, recap episode. I always thought those were just pure fan service. Yeah, I'd take a bottle episode over a clip show any day of the week. Hey, uh, guys? Yeah, what's up? Do you think we're in one of those right now? <laughs> Bro thinks he's the main character. Uh, what are you talking about? I mean, actually, I don't know. 
I just got the weirdest feeling. God, it almost feels like we're fictional characters in a piece of fiction. It's, it's the strangest feeling. Care to elaborate at all? It's already gone. Just lasted a few seconds. Honestly, I wouldn't even worry about it. Jeez. Oh, I am absolutely going to worry about it. Side character He's probably problems. just been reading too many books. That is definitely not the case. Are Wait, you did you get that mat? It disappeared. I don't know where it is. It's probably buzzing around somewhere. I'm only saying it because you don't. Hey, what's the last novel you read, Isaac? I hate all of you. <laughs> get egoed, loser. Guys, the fourth wall is collapsing. We need to repair it. All right, that's all the text convos. You have already. That's all the text convos. Let's do the date with um, Isaac real Experience quick. Experience heart to heart fragment. Isaac won. Yeah, sure. Also, I should probably read some of the journal. I finally decided to visit the channel, and oh man, it was the wrong day to do so. I hate to tell you this, man. The streams do not get any less like this than, like, the more we have them. They all have elements of this going on. I enter the living room and notice Isaac sipping a light beer. The TV is on, but he's not really watching it. I can tell he's distracted. There's nothing, there's something he needed to talk to me about. I hope I didn't do something wrong. He notices my entrance and smiles at me. Some anxiety immediately dissipates. Sitting a bit, shifting a bit more to, I said shitting, dude. Shitting a bit more to one side of the couch, he gives me ample space to shit beside him. Oh, uh, shit. It's, hey, that's exactly what I do, and he turns to face me as much as he can while sitting down. Ugh. You know, this stuff tastes awful. <sighs> but I wouldn't be drinking it if Taylor didn't Freudian slip, me. real. I know it's not true, but he keeps talking about my weight. Aw, oh, damn. Poor guy. He takes another sip of the beer. We did buy tons of junk food for this weekend, though. If I take it easy during the week, I can definitely binge on Friday. Cheat day. Might as well take action before something becomes a problem, right? Ha! <laughs> Odd thing to say while drinking a beer at 2 p.m. Only shit I'm allowed to say. True. Sometimes we just replace one problem with another. But don't worry. I care too much about work to do something like that. I only drink on days off, and I always make sure to pace myself. This is not me. I'd be drinking on the job all the time. Every stream. I need it to deal with you guys. I need it. It's Except a crush. Weekend, I'm an alcoholic. Moderation goes out the window. Haven't been to a nightclub in ages. <sighs> I'm actually kind of nervous. Kind of figured you were too cool to be nervous. Don't ever think it will have the time of our lives. You're cool. You're going to fit in fine. I feel the same th way. Let's be awkward together. Do I be relatable or do I be affirming? White claws like bear claws. Yeah, sure, why not? Don't flirt. Be as much of a dick as possible. I don't know, man. I This is not somebody I feel comfortable being a dick to. Be relatable. Be affirming. Hmm, what am I feeling? What do I, quite, the person playing the furry dating sim, want to do as a part of this furry dating sim? Hmm. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... You know what, let, let's... let's it's chapter one. We might as well take these dating uh, aspects as far as we can. You think I'm cool, huh? <laughs> Must be those rose-colored lenses everyone talks about. I bet everything seems new and exciting since you moved here. Ah, oh, damn. Way to shoot down my compliment. He takes one final chug, then crushes the can in his hands. There's a bit of an awkward silence after he does this, but I'm not sure why. I asked him why he wanted to meet here and asked him if I did something wrong. Oh, no. Not at all. I guess I should have elaborated when I said I wanted to talk. Sorry if you were worrying. I'll handle it better in the future. I actually wanted to apologize to you, Delta. Your first memory of this house will always be me yelling at Dante. Could be a funny meme down the line, to be fair. He just struck a chord with me. Has a habit of doing that almost every day. This, you, this dude looks like Ninja Furry? Fuck. Oh, uh, that's gonna mess me up. Even worse than the Sans one, dude. I was paranoid that Argus will come knocking. But, but the mods I made to my home are harmless. They'd never care. It's more risky for him to remove my modifications. He could easily screw up, and it's all downhill from there. Do anything wrong when you're messing around, and they'll notice. 
It's like a tightrope. One wrong move and you're done for. My brain is wired to mess with this stuff. His is not. Well, you are the landlord. You could just evict him. I tell him it's fine. We have things that we are all passionate about. Passionate. Yeah. That's the word. I got a little mad, but my intentions weren't bad. You you're just know? every blue YouTuber there I've is. Yeah, Drew Gooden as well nowadays. Life. I know my way around it. That'd be like Mr. Beast for his room and messing no, Mr. with Beast his would be like, you know, what animal is the Mr. Beast logo? So that I feel better about it. I just want mutual respect for my hobby and career. It makes sense. Isaac definitely seems to know what he's doing. From my understanding, the amount of Argus tech in this home is minimal. But at the same time, it's not illegal. Bend the rules without breaking them, he says. Yes, it's selfish to a degree, though. Because is I that a own new expression? House, Have we seen that on I him before? make sure that everyone feels safe. This situation sucks. I just want to leave all that Argus stuff back at work. It's purely psychological, but to me, Argus is my boss. No, that's not just psychological. That's literally the situation you're in, bud. Nobody wants to go back to a house where their boss is everywhere. Keeping that stuff to a minimum really helps my home feel like it should. Is this a furry dating sim? A yes. Place. He shrugs. At least to me. But I really should consider other people's point of view. I'll just end up like Argus if I expect everyone else to live how I want. Speaking of which, there's something else I wanted to talk about. I mean, it's the real reason I asked you to meet me here today. Oh shit. The apology wasn't the real reason? Interesting. All this talk about how I want things to be... Let's change that. Oh shit. There's something I've been meaning to ask you, Delta. And... I wish I had more beer for this. More courage. Oh shit! Is it happening, guys? Is it happening? He blushes and rubs the back of his head. I'm pretty sure I know where he's going with this. At least all signs support my current hypothesis. See, this part, the main character is just like me. This is a purely an analytical situation for them. I just feel like we should get this out of the way as soon as possible. The feeling of tension in the air is starting to damage my calm. There has been so there has been so much buildup. It has to be a subversion at this point. It can't be the real thing. But let's face it, you chose to move here to live with me. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be- it's gonna be a fake out. It's gonna be a fake out. I'm calling it. Did you... mean anything by that? Or not! Delta? This was a lot easier in my head. No, it was real! Really Holy understand. shit! I was so convinced Here it was gonna be a fake out! In me. I hope this isn't catching you by surprise. We've been friends online for a while, Sexual after attention. all. Sexual And moving in here is a pretty big gesture. He inches a bit closer to me, and he seems much more calm. I guess now that it's out in the open, his anxiety is disappearing. It's never easy to bring up the kind of thing he just brought up. I'm curious if the gesture was supposed to mean anything. What animal is Delta? I think we've not seen the player character. I think it's supposed to be ambiguous so you can, like, self-insert. Either way, I'm fine. I just couldn't stop myself from wondering. But if we do go out, expect me to Delta be is a dog! <laughs> Delta in chat is a dog. This does seem a bit sudden, but it's also natural. There's always been chemistry chemistry between us, and now we live together. I crossed my mind a few times, but it's clearly racing through his. No matter what, though. Friends until the end. Fuck. Do we want to- do we commit early? Stay focused, bro, brothers. We need to stay- we must stay focused. I'm not gonna lie. Out of the three dateable characters we've been- uh, that we have access to right now, in order, it's gone like, like from most liked to least liked. It's Isaac, then Taylor, then Dante. I, I am the most, I am the most interested as is in a Isaac. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it, I don't, I don't know what it is. He hugged me first. He hugged me first. I don't know. Yif the furry Jesus. Jesus Christ. Taylor is best. I don't know, man. He does seem sweet, but he's not doing it for me the same way that Isaac is. The big red text. The big red text. I'm committing, guys. I'm committing. Something that I never do. I'm committing. Glad to hear it, Delta. Took a real shot in the dark, but my aim was on point. You're willing to try, and that actually means a lot to me. 
He places a hand on the top of my leg. The world could use more people like you. Willing to embrace new experiences. New people, even. Everyone else seems to be a creature of routine these days. And then they just started kissing, and then kissing, and then fucking, and then ki- <sighs> Argus has made sure of that one. But sometimes a routine is more like a prison. So, let's embrace our freedom. Let's drink beer at 2 p.m. This is so true. I'm gonna drink beer at 2 p.m. tomorrow. I'm gonna drink during the day. <laughs> he smirks and stands up from the couch. I say, why not, and accept his offer to share a beer. The air is clear, and it seems like we can carry on like normal. All right, but let's not do this every day. Let's do it multiple times every day. Next time, we'll go to the coffee shop and hang out. You know, it could be our first date, or whatever. Look at this dude. What is this guy, fucking gay? Couldn't be me. He leaves the room to retrieve some more beer. I feel like our bond will become stronger of what just happened. Not only did I learn a lot about him, but we made our situation more clear. This is another milestone in my new life. Every interaction I have while I'm here will settle me in even more. It doesn't feel like home just yet, but every second does more to change that. Oh, wow, wow. Shit, okay, journal View time. Which journal entry? Sunday, December 15th, 2041. Finally moved in with Isaac. Wow, that feels weird to say. I've been dreaming of a new start for such a long time. Now that now that it's here, it feels kind of surreal, like a dream. Dreams are good, though, especially when the alternative is a nightmare. But I don't think we'll have to worry about that. God, they've got such a mysterious-ass past, dude. He seems to disregard a lot of Isaac's wishes, and their personalities clash all the time. But they seem to use it as a springboard to become closer, instead of an excuse to drift apart. I feel like we could all learn a thing or two from that. Isaac added me to the group chat. Got to talk with Taylor. The wait, dude, the screen sways whenever I move the mouse. It's like fucking me up. I wouldn't throw the term born entertainer around easily, but he's definitely a born entertainer. I can tell he's a bit cautious about his public image, though. Damn. He's just like me. For real. View which journal in Isaac left his lunch at home today, so I had to bring it to him at work. I'm just going to do the priority events, or some priority events real quick. Experience Pivotal Fragment. Special Delivery. It's a cock in a box. Sometimes finding yourself just means realizing how lost you really are. I hate that some of these quotes are spitting. It's actually really frustrating how applicable they are to, like, to life. Why does this game have interesting and insightful commentary? It's pissing me off. I enter Isaac's store and I'm immediately taken aback by how fancy it is. The massive Argus Corporation logo at the back is kind of blinding though. In spite of that, I make my way towards it and, close and closer to Isaac. He stands behind the register, lost in thought, but I could tell he was tired. That's why I have his boxed lunch in my hands. He forgot it at home and I wasn't busy. It was a pretty harmless delivery, all things considered. I'm sure it'd make him happy. Upon seeing me, his ears immediately perk up and the appearance of stress melts Delta! away. Oh, what a lifesaver you are! He's so happy to see me. I feel wanted and loved. Ugh, the only thing worse than working is working on an empty stomach. I promise it won't happen again. I'm not normally forgetful like this. Uh, the voice acting is really selling this game for me. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. The performance are gen genuinely stellar. I'm, uh... This could be a problem for my public image moving forward. God, I need... What? So this is why people play dating sims, huh? Oh no. Oh no. I'll never find a job with distractions like this. I don't know, that seems mean. Play Genshin Impact and you can hear more? Listen, I'm, I might I might be like doing the whole furry bait thing, but Genshin is like a few rungs down a ladder, let's be honest. Like, if we're making a hierarchy on the internet, furries are like here, and then Genshin Impact is in the bottom, is like in the dirt. It's in the core of the earth. Also, yeah, I'm gonna flirt. I've already committed this far. Whoa, subtle. Dante must be rubbing off on you. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but remember, don't flirt unless you plan to follow through with it. No one likes a tease. He gives me a soft smile and turns back towards his computer. 
As he faces his work once more, the smirk turns into a grimace. It was almost like his worries melted away as we spoke. Flattering. You'll never guess what happened. Look, Ten he's so cute! my installations this month have backfired. In a purely analytical, objective, scientific way. That means the people who bought them made illegal modifications. Basically, I lose the commission. Normally, I don't care, but ten in a row? Oh, yeah, for anybody wondering why he said, like, he's confused, like, this, the whole narrative's kind of out of order, or you can experience it uh, non-chronologically. I probably should have done it chronologically, if I'm being honest. Something is clearly going on. He strokes his chin like he's lost in thought. Also, is this meant to be a beard? I just realized. I thought I thought this was like neck fluff coming out for the longest time. Is that meant to be a beard? I decide to ask him more about why. Nobody is around to spy or anything. Not just modifications, Delta. Illegal modifications. Me when I commit crimes and be gay. What I do is harmless. And it I is still neck fluff. Okay. The terms of service. These people are actively causing harm. Using the tech to aid in crimes and stuff. Damn, that's like illegal and shit. Right, Isaac wouldn't be the type of person to commit a crime. As far as we know. Besides, Argus wouldn't care if they found out about my mods. That's why we have zeros. You can basically abandon the system entirely. Thanks for the sub, Jack fans. So, when I mute an AI or change the colors of lights, it's nothing. I'd like to think that Argus has bigger problems. I mean... They clearly do. Makes sense to me, and now I understand why Isaac's house is so under-equipped. Why implement invasive technology in your home if you don't have to, right? You can stick to the bare minimum, just enough to satisfy Argus. For those who don't understand, like, are just joining us, this is a furry dating sim that takes place in, like, a really complex, uh, dystopian society, where this thing called Komorebi gives you visions of your future, and that could be either good or bad, and it's just the same repeating vision that follows you for the rest of your life, and it, like, haunts you. And there's also this, like, AI system that tracks your user score, like a credit score. It, it, it talks about how good of a person and your worth to society in that way. It's fucking nuts. I still feel like trash, though. Yeah, it can, can you believe this is a furry dating sim? This is what Nightmind told me to play for this. It's my this or another one, but I chose this one. Potential fraud. They slipped through my fingers, so I enabled their crimes. Argus can dock me points for that. Such a stupid rule. That hardly seems fair. None of this seems to fit Isaac either, and it's odd. A man peddling wares he doesn't support or even use in his own life, willingly giving Argus eyes and ears everywhere except his own home. I vocalize these thoughts, and he shrugs. <sighs> a job is a job. That's what I always say. True. Gotta Besides, pay that rent. It could never or hurt to stay on Argus's good side. Climb the ladder, and you won't be there when they tip it over. I like working around people, too. And I mostly sell phones, anyway. Oh, dude, he's legit like the Apple Store technician. I didn't realize that's Big what they scale meant. scale installations like vehicles and home security are few and far between. Can't argue with selling a kid their first phone, though. Connecting them to the world. That's fair. I'd be a bit conflicted if I were in a situation, though. Argus has never done anything wrong, but they're still feared by a portion of the world. I don't know about that. The whole, like, credit system is just kind of wrong on principle. I hate how good the quality of this game is. Yeah, the writing is genuinely in-depth and well thought out. Working for them could be seen as working for the enemy by a lot of people. Argus is so secretive about everything they do, it's hard not to theorize. It could be solved by some more transparency, but they're never willing to offer that. Something about a mysterious corporation running the world seems to strike more obedience. Hey, Delta. Let me see your phone. Huh? What? Uh -huh. I promise uh -huh. not to scroll through your gallery. I- this is a lie. We all have shit to hide on our camera rolls. Let's not- let's not front. No one ever does. Seriously, though. Phone up. I shrug and hand him my phone. Thanks for the hundred bits. He looks around the store to make sure nobody's watching. Then a second later, he runs the phone along some sort of scanning device. Wanna know what I just did? Oh, is this the discount thing we saw earlier? He throws my phone back at me. Thankfully, I catch it. I just stole your identity. Oh, goddammit. What? Rule number one. Never hand over your phone. Goddammit. Even if it's someone you trust, it's just not worth it. 
One simple scan and I can do almost anything I want. That seems like a design flaw. I could put your info on a new phone, impersonate you online. I could even overwrite the info on your current phone, change your identity. Like, doesn't even Apple Pay make you type in your passcode or use face recognition? Or like the fingerprint shit? You're telling me Argus didn't think of some shit like that? What the hell? Your identity is an NFT? But I'd never do anything like that. Probably. Moral ambiguity. Before I can do anything, he starts laughing. <laughs> I'm just screwing with you, Delta. <laughs> I'd never mess around with important stuff like that. Oh, he got my ass. <sighs> I did a few things that might help you out while yeah, you okay. for a job, though. I was like, that Play could be mechanic breaking if they, like, just and having your phone is that big of a loophole. Thanks for the sub, tie-dye. He clears his throat and starts using an acting voice like he's playing a part. <clears throat> uh, terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Argus values you more than that. Figured not, he's serious? Oh, damn. The next six months of all Argus-related... Average Apple Genius Bar house. employee? And not only that, but all Argus associated venues will be 20% off. This is poggers. Oh, yeah, no, they in the- I'll, I'll, I'll explain after this. Whoa! Is there anything else I can do for you at this juncture? He winks at me and I'm not sure what to do or how to take what just happened. I appreciate the gesture, but there's no way he, what he just did was allowed. He said he'd never break the law, though I trust him, despite the anxiety. There's no telling what may come from this. I just wanted to do a good deed, and now I feel immoral. Completing the opposite of what I desired. I leave Isaac with his meal. Maybe we'd have a- we, maybe we'd have time to talk about this later. Okay, yeah, no, he was capping that whole time. I- I- I remember now. If you look at, um... So I did these out of order. I did this one, then this one, and I just played this one. The events in this one tell that he was, like, totally lying about the, uh identity stuff to try and like make me feel better about him giving me money that was the whole that was the whole bit because apparently he's done that to everybody in the friend group and they're like nah he's like he's legit just fronting he didn't want you to feel bad that he was giving you money about the discount shit this ui is fire yeah it's actually pretty neatly designed all right give me one minute guys i'm gonna do another one of my famous ad breaks where i make you all sit through i don't know 60 seconds of shit i'll be right back Okay, I'm back, fellas. I'm back. Let's get back into it. I'm very invested in the story of this game, despite, ev like, against all odds. Experience pivotal fragment. Locked out? That's ominous. He's back. The safety of the past is the greatest treasure that we can never possess. Deep. Wow, this art is really pretty, dude. All the background work on this is sick as shit. We leave the grocery store, our hands full of bags. 
It was mostly booze and assorted junk food. You know, the usual. It took a couple of hours, but Isaac and Taylor were there to make it easier. That's everything, yeah? <sighs> I think so. Dante made the list, though. I'll just blame him if we forget anything. <laughs> ah, classy. Isaac walks over to the driver's side door and tries to open it. A moment later, he looks up, giving us an embarrassed smile. Oh, uh, speaking of classy, please don't hate me for this. Uh, Isaac, you didn't. Oh, no. I did. Taylor groans and he places his bags on the ground. I'm a little confused, but I quickly realize what's going on. Isaac locked his keys on the car. I guess we're stuck. And you insisted on using this dated piece of junk. If you had more refined taste, you could just whip out your phone. You see, why would you need to, like, whip out your phone to do this when you could just use your elbow to open the window? Come on. I do have refined taste, and it's not dated, it's vintage. Vintage. It's sketchy is what it is. He's got, like, a 1966 Ford Mustang. Classic. You say that, but you'll thank me for having it one day. Oh, yes. It is course. just not today, though. I'm so grateful that you stranded us in the middle of the city. What are you doing? What are you doing driving in the middle of a walkable city anyways? Take advantage of those sidewalks over there. Not all of us get those, man. That day is not today. <laughs> Taylor sighs, his annoyance almost exaggerated. <sighs> well, looks like we're walking. This is Isaac's mess. Let him stay and fix it. Nah, I'm actually going to walk with you. Bruh. I'll have to grab some tools for my workshop. Thankfully, this isn't the first time I've locked myself out. Some pe some people, most people would not be thankful that they fucked up like this more than once. <laughs> Thankfully? That's what I'm saying! Yeah, always makes a good story to tell. True. Why not just get a new car? You know, one that follows regulations. Cars are- dude, it's a car. That shit is not cheap. Because I'm just made of money. He scoffs and walks back towards us. Taylor picks up his bags and we start walking in the same in the right direction. With all the added weight, it'd take a couple hours to get back home. I guess I'm coming over to your place now. Good thing I didn't have a stream plan today. It's a bunny thing? Or tomorrow. Is it? Hopefully. Is this car illegal somehow? Yeah, it's not connected to the whole, like, big brother system or whatever. Yeah, I'm taking the weekend off for you. It takes every- it feels like everyone hates each other. Not really. It's just banter, isn't it? Like, it's written like a friend group that's known each other for some time. They just- their way of communicating is make, making digs at each other sarcastically. Do you not do that with your friends? I don't know, like, people I'm homies with, we, like, mutually bully each other all the time because, like, we're comfortable to do it- we're comfortable enough to do that with each other. Quite the person that made this is a is a psychic? Huh. I don't get to do that very often. <laughs> it's costly. But in my heart, I know that this open bar is compensation enough. <laughs> you get drunk after one cocktail. Lightweight rabbit moment. Oh, I plan on going farther than that. <laughs> you wanted to make the night memorable, right? The marker of a memorable night is not remembering it at all. I, I don't know about that. I, I've I've enjoyed getting blackout less and less. There are times where I will be like, "Fuck it, I'll just go hard." But I like to retain some amount of agency. You know what I mean? Oh, so you're an alcoholic, alcoholic. Yeah, not the not you're not alcoholic in a cool way. You just have a problem. Says the guy who drinks beer at lunchtime. Got it. Got his ass. Day drinking is better. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to hear the explanation on that one. Before they can continue talking, we almost bump into somebody. Quickly dodging to the side, we turn back and apologize. Oh, oh sorry about that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He's legit just wearing the fucking jean jacket and nothing else. Say, that's, that's a lot of food. I suppose it is? Are you gonna eat it all? The music changed with a cue, dude. That's fucking incredible. Uh, that's what you do with food, yeah? <laughs> oh. Lol, get dunked on, nerd. His shoulders slump down and he looks defeated. We exchange glances as concern rises within hey, us. Hey, everything alright? Yeah, just really hungry. 
Can't you go buy some food for yourself? He slaps his hands on his pants pockets as if looking for something. Oh, this is the zero they were talking about meeting, huh? A clearly comedic gesture as we can see, we can now tell he's carrying nothing with him. I guess I forgot my wallet at home. Bruh. Your phone too? My, my what? <laughs> we exchange glances once again as we start to understand. Oh, you're a zero. See, this is what Andrew Tate would call a brokey. I do not agree with that sentiment. Look, look at the face he has when he says, oh, you're a zero. Like, yeah, you're one of them. Okay, okay. That's what they've been calling me, yeah. My friends are here to protest. I just wanted to see the city. Didn't pack enough, though, and now this walking has me starved. We huddle together and start whispering amongst ourselves. What do we do? Beats me. I've never met a zero before. Hey, are we gonna lose points if we keep talking to him? Jeez, that's so cold. That's so fucked. Dude, he's a person, not a liability. Says the person who said... How were you talking about him just a second ago, dude? Of course. I can hear you. Ha! Isaac and Taylor look scared stiff. To break the awkward silence, I grab an apple from Taylor's bag. Why did we get an apple for a pregame? Holding it out towards the zero, I make it clear that it now belongs to him. No joke? I shake my head and apologize on behalf of Isaac and Taylor. Yeah, Disaster I'm, case, I'm truly. I'm really sorry. I, I'm just not used to seeing, you know, zeros. I'm just city. not used to seeing your kind around here. <laughs> it's so Fucking on the nose, dude! <laughs> or well, anywhere for that matter. You and your friends are making history. Yeah, if you say so. He steps forward and grabs the apple out my hand. Uh, what do they call you? I tell him my name is Delta and introduce him to Isaac and Taylor. Delta, huh? So I guess you're the cool one. Yeah, I got the I got the alpha uh, what's the what's the Greek I got the Greek letter name. With a smile he takes a bite of the apple and walks away. We wait until he's out of earshot before talking about what happened. I'm totally cool. What was he talking about? You cracked under pressure like an egg bug. Egg yeah, bug. The definition of cool. Walking around in a jacket that's three sizes too big? Hey, that's a fashion statement. I'm growing into it. <laughs> More like filling it out with all that junk food you've been eating. Damn! But anyway, let's Man. keep going. Hopefully that was our only distraction. Wait, I'm actually kind of concerned. Trust me, Isaac. It's nothing to worry about. Totally normal to be concerned with your weight. Wow, what a fucking dick, dude! This is this is this, is this your is this really is this really your hero? Is this really is the rabbit really the one you wanted? No, you idiot! It's the zero. He said he wanted to see the city. I have ears. Yeah, I noticed. They're fucking huge. Yeah, but that means he's never seen it before. He's one of the zeros that was born on a colony. Oh, more new lore just dropped. And? He never got a chance to say no to the system. He must have had ideals forced onto him by mom and dad. Oh. <laughs> Comment, uh, social commentary moment. Oh. I see what you mean. <sighs> At least we get to choose. Shouldn't he, too? You know what? Never mind. This is getting too deep for me. Yeah, sounds about right. You're more of a drinker than a thinker. Why is he looking at me when he says that? Guess I have my work cut out for me then. He laughs and shakes his bag slightly. Bottles of alcohol shake around, knocking into one another. As we make our way home, I can't help but feel sorry for that zero too. Everyone should get a chance to start fresh, just like I did. Is this like furry segregation? There, it's like a dystopian visual novel deal. You know, everybody, you know, uh, authors have meaningful stories to tell, no matter what medium they choose to tell that through. Like, in so, like some people choose to, like, make their social commentary in the th form of anthropomorphic animal metaphors. It's more common than you think. Rob, like, the, the fox version of Robin Hood Zootopia. Th this, is this is arguably one of the better versions of it. Like, geez, they explore, like, really, really deep themes through the lens of, uh, furry. Furry persona. Experience Pivotal Fragment. Another session. Ooh, therapy time. Everybody deserves this chance to start fresh, even you. You said, you said it like, 
I did something that would make it as if I, I didn't think I had a chance. The counselor stares at me like he's unsure of what to say. A few sheets of paper in his hand sporadically divert his attention. I can tell he's reading the notes from our previous session, our first session. We didn't get to cover much ground, but it was a nice experience. I was worried we wouldn't get along, and that was a bit of a stressor. He'd see, he seems nice, though, and a lot of my worries have dwindled. Terribly sorry about last time. I hate cutting things short. But when our safety is on the line, I have to make some tough calls. What happened last time? That protest seemed pretty heated. I hope they didn't give you any trouble. You know, the parallels of the drawing are actually very explicit. Like, bottom of the rung at society, like, really just fucked over by, like, the way things, by the system. Literally the thing called the system. And, like, starting, like, protests and shit. I shake my head, I had no issues getting home. I don't think the protesters wanted to hurt anybody, they wanted change. Obviously some would fight for that change, but no hands have been forced yet. Interesting times we live in, hmm? I don't want to think about it. Pay a group no mind, and eventually, it'll grow unchecked. At this rate, the heads of August might have to get involved. But let's not worry about that right now. We're on the clock. There's a couple of things I wanted to ask you last time, so... The, mu the soundtrack of this game kind of whips. With how calm it is outside today, I don't think we'll have any issues. Giving him a nod, I lean back in my chair. Hey, I'm doing that right now. I really didn't need to be here, but I didn't want to lose p points either. It seemed like we were in a stalemate until he cleared me as a patient. I only saw my last counselor for so long because it was part of my normal. With a big life change like this, I wanted to leave some of that stuff behind. If he can deem me mentally fit, then I won't have to see him anymore. That could be an easy that could be easy or hard, and it differs from doctor to doctor. But with how we're getting along, I think he can tell that I'm doing well. As I've said many times before, my lack of a vision has never held me back. This one is actually a bit atypical, but I'll ask it anyway. As we've already established, you're a bit of a unique case. So, if you had the option to experience a vision, would you? Mm. I know you say you're fine without one, but this is a different angle. If I could offer you a vision of your future, would you take it? Hmm. Keep in mind that you might not like what you see. Not at all. See, I, I think I've thought about this hypothetical a lot, like just on my own time, or like, if you could see your future, would you want to? And the truth is, I don't. I don't want to know for certain what's going to happen. Like, I don't want that. Like, it's, it's, like it's legit something I don't, I don't want to know what my future will have until I get there. You know? Like, that's not some shit I want hanging over me as I make my way there, chugging, al chugging along to it. So yeah, I'm good. All right, I'll take your word for it. You're a really interesting person, you know. I like that. Most people like you crave Komarebi. To be like everybody else. I, nah, bro. It's this seems like awful to be in. I've never found any merit in that, though. Trying to be like other people only makes you forget who you are. There's a certain beauty in embracing what makes you special. You don't want to get caught watching this shit? You're literally watching a quite stream. That is so much more embarrassing than, like, seeing furry shit. Like, if your parents walked in on you watching, like, at, like legit furry porn, they would be less disappointed than if they realized you were watching me on YouTube. There used to be also, this is not a dateable uh, character, it's just your at therapist. At least not without being judged by your peers. Even a few generations ago, psychics were a laughing stock. But then, Komarebi came along and turn the tables for everybody. My point is that society moves on to a new fad almost every other day. Trying to stay current, trying to fit in, is generally a bad idea. Okay, but if my therapist looked like that, I'd try. It goes against their code of conduct, I'm pretty sure. It's a conflict of interest to be dating a patient. Be yourself, Delta. Your time in the spotlight will come eventually. I don't know if I need that. I don't even know if I want that. I'm not unsure of what's he's going, where he's going with this. He makes me do that a lot, doesn't he? Regardless of your thoughts right now, in the future, you may feel pressured to fit in. I try and give my patients lessons that they can use for the rest of their lives. So even if I end up clearing you as a patient, you'll be just a tad wiser. <laughs> you know, when he puts it that way, it sounds kind of cool. I may not need a therapist, maybe I, th I shouldn't think of him as one. He's like a mentor, an older, wiser person to teach me valuable lessons. This is the thing. 
Like every single person could benefit from a therapist. People who don't have specific trauma or like specific mental illnesses would still benefit from a, they would still benefit from having a therapist. Like that's just a useful resource to have access to. Like you don't need to fucking talk to your therapist about mind bending shit. You can like come to them about really mundane problems and it still helps to just chat about them with it. Like they're people who are fun, like you know are like qualified of more than the average person to help you through those problems, no matter how minor, no matter what. As I was saying, Komarebi changed the way we see almost everything. We look back on history and see prophets all the time, but we never believed them. What is giving us Seers, advice? Yeah. Soothsayers, fortune tellers. We see them littered throughout our past, <clears throat> but now it's impossible to justify our skepticism. In fact, it now seems unreasonable to deny. Nah, I think everybody in the world except for me is just collectively tripping on acid. Who's to say that Komarebi wasn't gifted to special people in the past? These people throughout the ages could have just been the first to receive it. It seems more like a curse, actually. That's the way- um... That's- that's how I view it. Like, even if it was like- Even if it was like visions of success. Like, of me doing well. I'd be like, oh, so I know how that happens now, permanently. I know where I cap out, I guess. I know exactly the way I'm going to make it. I don't know, like, you know what they say, part of the fucking shit is a journey. I, like, I, I, I personally don't think being able to be certain of your future is, like, a good thing. But then you have to ask, where did the Komarebi phenomenon come from? Is someone or something responsible? Or is it just random? The implications of these visions unsettled almost everybody. I can't believe the furry dating sim got us to unironically talk philosophy. What, what is wrong with us? Interesting to know that you think of it as a curse, though. A lot of people without visions think that they weren't worthy of Komarebi. Like it's something gifted to people who meet certain conditions. All your achievements would feel predetermined and not earned? Yeah, and... It's it's legit. Some people back in the day they would say that, or like there was a belief that rulers in ancient times, like in Greece or like in medieval times, even were somehow divinely chosen by God by some otherworldly quality that we could not ascertain, and that they were in those positions because they were predetermined to deserve it more than everybody below them. And I think that's dumb. I like having power through those means sucks, or is like it, it's it, it's inherently less fulfilling than having to have worked for it to some extent. Not to say that, like, you having help isn't nice, or, like, having the a head start isn't good, uh, and that you should be ashamed of it if you have that. It's just, if you do make it to that those conditions, like, you do make it to a place where you're good off, and you had to, like, really scrape for it, I feel like you feel better when you have it, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? But regardless of where it came from, we have to live with it. You seem to be doing pretty good in a world like this, though. You may not fit in, but like I said, you don't need to. This is my first stream I've caught. You can ask. Yeah, my pronouns are he, they. Like Zootopia! <laughs> he smiles softly and places his papers on the stand behind him. This game has unironically made me think deeply about a lot of issues. I hate it. I'm a bit of an outlier myself, you know. There's a reason why I counsel people like you, Delta. So when I talk about not having visions, just know that I speak from the heart. Is he legit saying that he's just like me for real? A lot of things you feel over your lifetime, I already have. Doubts, fears, depression. There's a lot that could come your way. If I can make it easier on you, then I consider all of this a success. Yeah, even as a chosen one, work and effort is done. Divine right ain't just a birthright. You have to work to keep it. See, that's not always, like, the case, though. Like, those going back to those ancient rulers' examples, a lot of them were in power for ages, even if they were terrible fucking leaders. They, like, it was assumed that they could do no wrong. And that's inherently, like, dangerous and bad. Given if they ended up in that position by, like, complete chance, and they did a good job with it at anyways, then yeah. Typically speaking, like, they were more favorably looked upon, but I don't know. Whoa, so he's never experienced Komarebi before? 
I also find it interesting that he's starting to open up to me. Until just recently, it seemed like he was reciting a self-help You book. might not experience these things for years to come, but unfortunately, we all have a crisis or two throughout our lives. When yours comes, I hope that you'll look back on these talks with an open mind. It, it feels a little harsh to tell me that my life will be difficult in the future, but it's honest. I guess that's a universal fact. Nobody sails through life without issue. Yeah, I mean, when, when you go through your first really, like, devastating or emotionally taxing event, you always think about, okay, something like that's probably going to happen again. How's, how's that going to work? No worries, Delta. This is a two-way street. I may do most of the talking, but I try to mix it up. I want to talk to you, not at you. It's more personal that way. For example, now you know that I'm just like you. My advice may have seemed generic, but it came from experience, and that, as they say, is the best teacher. So I think we'll mix together well. Let's talk about that during our next session, though. Yo, I'm thank you for the five the diss subs from the Anonymous. I'd hate to get cut off in the middle of something like we did last time. Just be careful out there when you leave. Could be another protest. Or even worse. I realize he's right. The hour of our session has basically flown by. That's probably a good thing, though. Wouldn't want these meetings to drag on. After thanking for his time, I decided to gather my thoughts before heading out. Argus. Protest. Interact with each word to learn more about it. Okay, Upon Lord Time, Lord Time. interacting with both, your experience will continue. I'm gonna save real quick. Okay, uh, let's do protest. While the system is presented as mandatory, some people still dodge it. They have no score, no identity, and live outside of the city in self-sustaining colonies. They're known as Zeros. While originally a small group, they have since grown quite large. But as they grow, so do the size and scope of our cities. The Argus Corporation has slowly but surely been encroaching on Zero territory. So wait, Zeros isn't like necessarily like you have a zero point scale, it means you're not even in the system. So it's more, it's still in-group, out-group stuff. But it's less, hey, you're at the bottom of the rung, like you like you have been deemed to have zero worth. It's more like you do not choose to join the system that determines that worth. A surprising amount of furry streamers put the not a furry in the stream title. Well, that's them. I, I'm not a furry, so that's why I put it there. The running out of space and the integrity of their communities is more and more at risk. Some people say that they deserve it, but I don't think it's so black and white. Either way, these protests aren't violent, and they aren't calling for any substantial change. Zero simply want the ability to enter the city legally and purchase what they need to live. They need this because the loss of space means they can't make enough on their own. Monopoly moment. And not only that, but many people who live outside the city don't do so by choice. If you abandon the system, you wouldn't be allowed back, or your children, or even their children. Many Zeros suffer the choices of those that came before them. These protests could give them the chance to try their hands at life in the city. I'm sure they'll reach a mutual conclusion, but it's odd how involved Argus is. They have such a sway with world powers, but I guess as people say, they did save the world. Maybe they're simply collecting what they now believe is their reward. Argus moment. The inner workings of the corporation are shrouded in mystery. The Argus sounds so Assassin's Creed Evil Company-esque, like Abstergo. Nobody even knows who runs it, but theories run rampant. Currently, it must be in the hands of the Founder's child or children. It's been way too long to remain in the hands of just one generation. But no matter who runs it, their influence on society is clear. A world without the Argus Corporation would be awful. At least that's what we think. All we can really do is speculate. I mean, you've never known a world without them. They can paint the narrative. Why am I engaging so critically with this narrative? Either way, the influence and power of this single corporation is immense. They have a monopoly on almost everything and use it to maintain order. Could be worse, they could use their power for nefarious purposes. I'm sure they are. Not worth thinking about, though, as there are far more real issues at hand. I beg to differ. Namely, the protests and the people living outside our city limits. Zeros. Good writing will do that to you. It, it's pissing me off how invested in this I am. Okay, time to do the Experience other day. Experience heart-to-heart fragment. 
Dante won. All right, we got this and then the last fragment right here. Do the Drake noise? It's Kanye. It's the Kanye noise. Okay, date night. I entered Dante's room, bringing him back his lost wallet. He was too busy to pick it up at the coffee shop, and I was out running errands. Isaac did warn me about him, though, always having his head in the hey, clouds. Hey, Delta. Thanks for following through. There's no way I had time to do that myself. What is it that you do, exactly? Thanks for the sub, Morganic Organic. According to my agent, I have 12 months left to finish this book. Oh, fair. But I signed the contract, so this is my own I doing. forgot he writes. One crunch session after another. You get used to it, though. Thankfully, the press is really interested in my next project. I knew he was a writer, but I didn't know he was this successful. Until this point, he's never mentioned much about his career. It's probably now that we're alone, everyone else in his life probably knows everyone already. Well, now that you're here, maybe you want to hang out for a bit? Yeah, sure. I could use a little break from that empty page. It's taunting me. It usually does, but today it's pretty bad. Bruh. Probably the stress of working under a deadline. You know, a, a year is a long time, but it doesn't feel like it. If I aim for a thousand words a day, I should be all right. God, it's gotta be a big-ass book, dude. But right now, I stand at zero. <sighs> I have the story mapped out, but that opening scene is the worst. Gotta grab the reader, but also keep the momentum going. He's a writer, wanna chill with this guy? <laughs> he writes them fanfic books. Yeah, he doesn't actually have an agent, he's just like an anonymous author in AO3. A moment later, he gets out of his chair and moves to his bed. Sitting at the edge, he points to the now empty chair. Go ahead, take a seat. Don't usually let people in my bed right after meeting him. <laughs> <laughs> but I like your vibes, Delta. Tell me something about yourself. If you're down, that is. He lays back and looks up at the ceiling. That's such a vague question, I don't know where to start. I tell him that I wanted a new start. Things were getting stale. Huh, interesting. Things were getting stale here, too. Guess this arrangement benefits all of us, then. And it was nice of your boyfriend to rent you a room. <laughs> He's clearly teasing me with the implication. I don't buy You know, he doesn't let just anybody move in here. There's a reason it's been the two of us for years. Y'all fucking? I guess I'm just saying you mean something to him. Keep that in mind, all right? A friendly piece of advice. When you write romance, you start to pick up on these things. I guess it's not really any of my business, though. Just advice, like I said. Dude really thinks he's in a book, but dude really thinks he's in a fanfic. But none of us would be surprised if you two ended up together. Bruh. I nod and thank him for the Just advice. Just don't mess with those mods he makes. I got off super easy when you arrived. Trust me. It's so bad, I just tell myself to take his insults as compliments. Bruh. The people we the sub, are Holly usually Pugo. the ones we love the most. He wouldn't crack Hey, that's like a line from earlier. To grow. He sure likes talking about Isaac, huh? I try to change the subject and shift it more towards Dante. Curiosity takes over my mind, so I ask him about his next book. I wish I could talk about it, but I can't. NDA Andy. I'm under a strict NDA and a bunch of pesky red tape. In fact, I think I've already said way more than I should. Fair. I ask him to tell me more about himself then. I don't know about that one, Delta. I'm a writer, so I know a lame story when I see one. Damn. Basically, grew up in a library. All I did was read books day after day. Picked up the skills to write my own, and here we are. A few book deals later, and I live under crushing stress. I don't know, that seems like pretty, pretty interesting to me, how you went from liking books to making it work. Almost makes me wish that my initial success was a fluke. <laughs> we all have foresight, except for where we need it the most. I think that's all you'll get out of me right now, though. Maybe we should grab a drink sometime, chat a bit more? I mean, if you're down for that. I'd suggest the club, but that night is going to be a drunken blur. If we're talking about next week, however, my schedule is wide open. Do I date all of them at once? It could, it, 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 you, you could do a... It's fiction. I could, I, like, I could do a poly arrangement. It could, it, it could be... It, it could be several of us at once. You, you, you don't know. You, don't, you, don't, you don't, Potentially. It's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a furry dating game. I can have the world. Yes. Date the orange one. Ho out. The consequences of this could be running could ruin could be ruining my chances with Isaac later though. Whatever. Live big. <laughs> no way. 
I've seen that story before. Taking your best friend's crush? <laughs> totally scummy. Got him. Uh, unless you'd be open to a group arrangement. Kidding. Kinda. Not many stories go that route. Could be interesting, though. Foreshadowing! He sits up right and tilts his head to the side. I can tell that it's a sign. He wants me out of his chair. However, before I make it out the room, he calls my name. Hey, Delta. I gotta say, you remind me of somebody. This character from my first book. They're an outsider, like you. Bro thinks this is- bro thinks this is a self-insert. I tilt my head, confused as why- at why he's bring this up. Well, let's just say I have a deep connection with them. He- would you say that he's just like me for real? When you told me about your past, they immediately popped into my head. It- it- it probably sounds weird to hear, but that made it easier for me to talk. Hey, everybody's got different copes. It makes sense to me, even if I can't describe why. This character why. traveled to a new city. They ended up falling in love with somebody they shouldn't. You know, like those old tragedies, but with modern flair. This sounds pretty cool, actually. If this character is like me, I wonder what happens to them. I ask Dante to tell me more, intrigued at relating to his fiction. Oh, they die. <laughs> oh, that's perfect line delivery. Hopefully things work out better for you, though, yeah? <laughs> oh. With a laugh, he turns to his chair around and starts typing away. I guess that was my cue to leave, for real this time. What an odd note to end on. Thanks for the 150 bits. Instead of focusing on what he said, I focus on what he didn't say. Our talk inspired him, even if he didn't want to admit it. As I see myself out, that empty page is now almost anything but. Hopefully this new story has a bit of a happier ending. Funny guy, funny guy. He just- they died on me. Okay guys, l last one, I think. Last one of this fragment. Experience Pivotal Fragment. Introspeculation. What the hell does that word mean? Define introspeculation. The examination or observation of one's mental and emotional processes. So like self-assessment? Fear B, gotta take a shower, unlike most of you. Nostalgia is like a broken mirror. Recreate the past and you'll end up full of cuts. Interesting metaphor. Kendrick song moment. I throw my head back and take a shot. The alcohol quickly burns my throat. After a couple coughs, I let out a noise that signals my satisfaction. I can't help but feel happy as a warm feeling rises within me. I guess Delta is a lightweight too. Looks like you have some competition, Taylor. Absolutely not me, IRL. Hey, it's not a competition if the victor is clear. A <laughs> hundred bucks says I pass out before they do. Oh, now this is gonna be interesting. Fuck showers, I'm smelling like shit. I mean, you can fuck in showers if you want. That's like Here, your prerogative. let me get the music. We need a theme song for Taylor's demise. Wow, have some faith, dude. First time in the stream, is this a usual thing? Um, playing weird dating sims? Yes. Uh, like, we, we have played a dating sim where everybody was like monsters, or everybody was a father. One where, uh, all the characters were people with phones as heads. We, 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 we play some strange things for the sake of good YouTube titles. Thanks for the sub, Dark Raven. It's kinda, it's kinda, we get around, that's what I'll say. As if your ego needs to get any bigger. If I could afford it, my money would go right on Delta. Wait, you can't, can't. afford it? I thought your books were bestsellers. Uh, yeah, they were. Oh, damn. Fell off. Anyway, what do you want to hear? Y'all okay if I put on some clays? That's the person who made the game, innit? I could go either way. <laughs> you know, I heard he could, too. Bruh. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> He'd fit in well with us, then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Speak for yourself, man. We don't all hit on everyone we see. Yeah, I made sure to warn my friend about that. Meeting a boozed up tailor is certainly an uh You're reading a <laughs> dial town fanfic <laughs> right now? How many of those even exist? Oh, well I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Always gotta ruin my fun. But go ahead, put on some clays. Not very party like, just sitting here in silence. Dante smiles and pulls out his phone. The speaker in the corners of the room let out a noise, signaling his connection. After a few moments of scrolling through his device, he decides on a Party song. Party time? Party time! 
Now playing Encore by Clace. He presses play with a wide grin at his face and music fills the room. Isaac grabs the bottle of vodka resting on the table and stands up tall. And that means more shots. He slides a shot across the table in my direction. Dante does the same, but in Taylor's direction. Oh no, they really do want to test our tolerance. <laughs> Prepare for trouble. Come on, man, it's just a pregame. He throws the bottle in the air and catches it with a flourish. We're making it a double. Weak, he walks over to me and fills up both shot glasses with vodka. A moment later, he does the same to Taylor, topping us up. This, what, what about topping us off? What about top? I tell him I'll do it as long as him and Dante do it too. You have yourself a deal. Four for you, four for us. You really want us to pass out, huh? Don't think your friend would like being stood up. Bruh. We'll pace ourselves, don't worry. Remember, we're not leaving for three more hours. We say as we take two shots apiece. So you're saying drink up? I'm surprised you haven't already. As if that was a direct challenge, Taylor and I both take our shots. Then it... Why isn't Yeet in this game? This game should play Yeet. Yeet should be the entire soundtrack of this game. Then in one swift motion, we slide the glasses over to Isaac and Dante. Filling them up almost immediately, Isaac then strikes a thinking pose. Hmm. We should have a toast. Oh, to what? Taylor's inebriation is becoming clear as he wobbles slightly. And if the earlier wager were official, I'd guess he'd be winning. I live by many rules, but one has never let me down. Always let a rider make the toast. It's what they do best. They're good at waffling. All eyes are immediately on Dante. Wow. Uh, no pressure or anything. <laughs> Come on, it's an honor. Uh, it's my job. Uh, it's not a party trick, but uh, sure, let me let me think of something. Him and Isaac both pick up one shot glass in unison. There's a pair there's a pause for a few moments while Dante decides what to say. But after a little while he seems to give up and laugh. <laughs> you know what? This one's just from the heart. Here's to getting wasted with the people that matter. Real, realest shit I've ever heard. Yeah. With the people that matter. And with any luck, that list will keep on growing. Taylor and I hold our hands up, like we were taking shots as well. We all say cheers, and they downed the vodka faster than Isaac poured it. Talk about getting a head start on the night, buzzed before supper. Speaking of which, who are we meeting? You gonna tell us who this friend of yours is? Nope. But honestly, I'm nervous too. I've never met him, so... It's not just you. It's the head of Argus. Wait a second. You never even met him? Correct. And you think I move fast with guys. It's not like he's a stranger, man. He's just never been in town until today. Bruh moment. But we've been friends online for a while now. Trust me, he's good. No need to worry. Well, if you say so. Anyone who gives me free booze is good in my books. I just thought you met him before with how much you've been saying. Nope. Just the anxiety making me ramble. Hence all the liquid courage we just ingested. Might want to switch to rum, though. Vodka's running dry. You necked that shit already? Goddamn. He shakes the bottle with an embarrassed laugh. We've already gone through a whole bottle? Wow. Isaac must have a weird definition of pacing. Rum? <laughs> I'm down. I'll go grab the Mixing, cold. mixing the whites like and the browns, dude. Mixing. Or the clears and the browns. Straight shots are really Fucking starting to creep up on me. Mixing different types of alcohol is like, can be dangerous, man. Like, if you go from having rum to vodka in one night, your stomach may, uh, disagree. The original way I phrased that was fucking awful, by the way. It's like, holy shit, I'm literally a result of that. Not good. With dramatic flair, he acts like he's passing out. Then a moment later, he hard rests on my shoulder. I laugh and exchange awkward glances with everyone else. Or maybe you could get it for me, Delta. <laughs> uh, I fear I've gotten a bit lightheaded over here. I have no problem doing a favor for a friend, so I agree. But a temptation rises within me to mess with him before I get up. Looking down at him, I think of what... Uh message I'd like to send. We're doing- we, 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 we've- 
we've all agreed that we're going for the fuck everybody possible uh, uh, approach, right? I wrap an arm around him and give him a tight squeeze. The others look a bit surprised, but Taylor sounds incredibly happy. Tell you not to let go, but I really wanted that cola. Ah, yes. The master of romance. A lifetime of practice. A few chuckles fill the room as I stand up and walk to the fridge. The cola is easy to find, even amongst the booze-filled appliance. When I make it back to the table, I notice that Dante is holding the rum. Man. I'm gonna miss this. He sighs as he shakes the bottle, swirling the liquid inside. Well, we can always buy more. It's cheap stuff. No, not, not that. I meant all of this. In general. Where the hell are you going? Sitting down with your best friends, getting drunk during the day, downing shot after shot like our bodies aren't starting to hate us. Oh, you mean youth. Damn, I'm gonna... You know you can, like, still be an alcoholic when you're 50, right? Nothing's stopping you. You can still do... You can still do this shit. Yeah, but at least we made the most of it. Couldn't have asked for a better group of friends. Dude, I feel exactly the same way. Okay. I can't even imagine what life would be like without all of you. Just the thought of it is enough to keep me up at night. And it does. Damn. Friend simulator. Couldn't be me. Oh? Finally confessing your feelings for all of us? Dude, no way. It's just, we're so close now. But are we still in touch in any of your visions? I shrug since it's pretty obvious that I've never had a vision. But the rest of them exchanged worried glances. They didn't have to say anything. I knew exactly what they're thinking. Oh. Exactly. I can't get it off my mind. Being drunk is the worst time to have this conversation, brother. I think of you all as, as my family. But in my vision, you're not even an afterthought. Then enjoy it while you got it. Like, what do you... What, nothing you can do about it. The mood in the room took a turn for the worse, and I stare at my glass. I'm not sure how I fit into this conversation. I'm definitely still the odd one out. Hey, we're together now, and that's what matters. If you're constantly worried about the future, you'll never enjoy the present. We could drift apart, yeah, but no point in just moping around until it happens. Yep. The VAs are kind of good. The cast list is literally stacked for this. It's insane. Isaac looks, looks up from his glass with a smile. Remember what you said about foresight in the group chat? If we know we might stop being friends, then we need to make the most of it. And I don't know about you, but I think tonight is the perfect night for that. You know what? You're right. But why do we have to drift apart? Who says we can't be friends forever? Uh, fate. And quite literally. <laughs> well then, screw fate. I won't let anything take you away from me. Is that like a sex thing? I don't know if we're equipped to fight fate, man. And if well-wishing were a weapon, the world would be much better off. Let's just create some memories that we can revisit whenever we want. Even when we're no longer together. Bruh. Isaac's mood almost instantly reverses and he holds up his glass. Now there's a toast. Damn. We touch our glasses together, then take a large swig. <coughs> Shame on you, Taylor. <coughs> Using my own words against me? Guess it's true what they say, though. Your own advice is always better. When On my way to make a time machine. Else. We're all creatures of self doubt, man. Can't escape that. But don't worry, Isaac. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not sure if we can beat fate. But I promise to put up one hell of a fight. I don't know, man. I don't think his footwork's as good as mine. I could probably take him. Anyway, class, I got it. This seemed like the perfect end to our discussion. Moving on to more casual topics, we slowly sip our drinks, but this is the first time I've seen the more negative effects of Como Rebi. A group of people realizing they may not be friends forever. There's something so liberating yet terrifying about that. It almost seemed like a rite of passage into maturity. But here I sat with no vision to my name and no input at all. As my new life kept going, I'd have no idea what the future could bring, and that thought alone was almost as terrifying and liberating as the alternative. Nice. Experience culmination fragment. The nightclub outing? Okay, fellas. This is the one. Think of the sub Jax fans. Thank you for choosing Argus. Our future, your way. 
Uh, yeah, I believe that. Why am I in the therapist's office again? I thought we were going to the nightclub. He reads through some papers as I tell him my weekend plans. He wanted to make sure that my social life was thriving in this new setting. It was for now. He seems happy that I have a new group of friends in my right, life. Right, of course. The nightclub trip. And the, uh, pre-gaming. Well, at least you're being social. Not something I'd recommend making a habit of, though. Don't tell me what to do, old man. The pre-gaming, I mean. Not the socializing. Having a friend group is healthy and can make all the difference. I'm glad that you're able to get along with Isaac's friends, too. Bringing a new person into a social group can often be complicated. You'll probably notice that you're under a microscope, too. At least for a while. But they should seek your approval just as much as you're seeking theirs. After getting caught up, he puts the papers off to the side. Speaking of that, though, have you been seeking more than friends? It's healthy to date and test the waters, you know. Ooh, gamer moment. Makes perfect sense. You did move here for him, after all. And if not for him, then at least to live with him, which is a big gesture. From everything I've been told, it seems like you two get along just fine. Yeah, this, this fictional character is doing, like, is way better up than me. Social life, boyfriend. But actually, I got the boyfriend, so that's pretty good. But, um, social life, mostly. He scribbles notes down on a piece of paper that rests beside him. I'm tempted to ask him what he's writing down, but I know it's nothing bad. In fact, I'm pretty sure that'll be cleared as a patient within a month or so. Have your friends told you anything about their Komarevi? I mean, do you know if any of them are like you? Bonding over a shared trait can always <laughs> help. I let him know that I'm definitely the odd one out. They didn't reveal their visions, but I know they had them. For the time being, I was definitely alone with this struggle, so to speak. I guess the odds were incredibly slim. But as far as I'm concerned, it was worth a shot. If you're interested, I could hook you up with some support groups. I let him know that I'm not interested in that. Like I've said many times before, my lack of a vision doesn't affect me. Oh, that's exactly why I'd recommend you go to a support group. I think others could benefit from hearing how you think and feel. Literally the main Whether character. Whether you know it or not, you're a pretty remarkable case. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm kind of, like, built different, you might say. You have a BF? Yes, yeah, Springtrap. You, you guys know this. I shrug and ask him if that he means he's cl close to clearing me as a patient. One step at a time, Delta. I can't make a big decision like that unless I'm certain. Thankfully, your honesty and cooperation are helping. I can't help but direct my attention to some colorful papers by his side. They look like pamphlets, so I decide to ask him what they are. My best guess is that he already has some support groups in mind. Oh, these? A zero handed them to me on my way to work. I guess part of their protesting involves spreading around propaganda. This first one claims that Argus is responsible for Komarevi. Could be true. Could be a conspiracy theory. He picks up the pamphlet and opens it. It says that they engineered it somehow. Then they swooped in to play the savior and control society. Those who don't experience visions are just strong enough to resist. L legit, it's as good as a theory as the next one because no one knows how that shit works. With a laugh, he places it back down and grabs the others. Now, this one was actually more interesting. It says that the existence of Komarebi disproves free will. That's clearly not true. I wonder if they actually believe this nonsense. Uh, I don't understand how you could think it was if Komarebi's real, how it could be anything other than the case of free will being a farce. Because if you have a vision of the future that it, you know will come true in, like, in any specific way, everything you do up to then has to culminate into it, therefore being predetermined. Like, there's literally no other way it could happen if Como Rebi's a real phenomenon in this universe. He flips through the second pa pamphlet. Unfortunately, we've seen people take their own lives due to Como Rebi. Oh, I guess that's a good counter. This very act proves that, to some degree, we can still control fate. The leading theory is that these visions are more like warnings. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. You know, a kind of heads up of what could be. Some people even believe that they're glimpses into alternate worlds. Of course, I didn't bring you here to talk about metaphysical nonsense. Well, um, that's what we've been talking about the whole stream, let's be honest. I'm intrigued by the conversation, so I decide to turn the tables. I ask him where he stands on the subject, what he believes. Well, I believe that we'll never know the truth of Komarebi. 
but many visions have come to pass while many haven't. See, that's a truth bomb. I, I didn't know that before, they don't always happen. Some people don't live to find out. I didn't realize that it's kind of it is kind of up to chance. So you don't even know if it's the future for real? It's just kind of a like, eh, here's something to agonize over. It might happen, it might not. If I had to commit to an idea, I'd say I agree with the leading theory. They're just possible outcomes. Nothing set in stone or predestined. Argus isn't responsible, and we still have free will at the end of the day. Of course, that's just wishful thinking. We'll never really know. Some visions could just be tricks to send people down a certain path. I think it's more important to handle things on an individual basis. For example, what does your vision, or lack of vision, mean to you? It's best to lead with that rather than seek out a universal What's the game's truth. name? This is Como Rebbe. Like I always say. You're the first person who's asked to like try and find it after. To more fright. This doesn't feel like a furry dating sim, just live as a furry sim. Yeah, going into this, different expectations, but I guess it makes sense. It's legit just a, a, like a legit visual novel story told through the avatars of talking anthropomorphic animals. He puts the second pamphlet down. I hope people don't start believing these silly stories. If those zeros are really here to cause trouble, I'd avoid them. No sense getting caught up in something like this, you know? I nod and choose not to mention the zero I ran into. Besides, something told me our session was quickly running out of time. We continue to talk, but all I can think about is the upcoming festivities. Out on the city! Out on the city! We make our way down the city streets as the booze starts to wear off. It was a long walk to the club, but we didn't feel like driving or using public transit. Because of that, we wobble slightly as we head toward our destination, Club I'm Euphoria. I'm surprised your friend didn't help us out with transportation. What do you mean? <laughs> Gives us an open bar, but he didn't send us a limo? <laughs> Rude! Oh, don't get greedy. It was a nice gesture. He just wants to get things off to a good start. Nightclub time. My legs are killing me, so we're off to a great start. Remind me to give him an earful when we get there. Man, sp uh, ungrateful. Uh, in un ingrate Speaking of which, I still need to yell at Dante. Oh, no. What did I do now? I heard that noise when you connected to our speakers, dude. Was I not clear enough the other day? Don't mess with my mods. Bruh. I haven't. Well, not since then. It's just been a while since anyone connected like that. Trust me, Isaac. I made those changes months ago. Is that supposed to get you off the hook? I'm just being honest, man. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Damn. Dante scoffs and looks the other way. You know, I might not drink as much as I thought tonight. Ah, uh, goddamn. What? Why's that? It's these new painkillers. Wait, you're in pain? Yeah, because you won't get off my back. <laughs> Is it too much to ask for just one night of fun? You're the one who wanted that, yet you're tearing into me. An awkward silence fills the air as they stare at one another. But just like usual, they erupt into laughter only a few moments later. Fine, fine. I'll try and ease up on you a little bit. If we want to be friends forever, I might just have to. All of a sudden, I start to think about the conversation we had earlier. In their visions, they were no longer in touch, no longer a friend group. You really think we can pull that off? I guess it's worth a shot. Isaac stops at his tracks and turns to face all of us. Then we should make a pact. Uh, like with blood? <laughs> Why, they made the blood red. That's gotta be important then. No. Ah, oh, shame. Always wanted to do one of those. I'd rather not have your blood on my hands, Taylor. That seems like foreshadowing. Oh, but I thought we were finally bonding. Come on, can you please take this seriously for a second? I just want to make sure that we don't all drift apart. And how do you suggest we do that? Uh, the group chat. Probably. Let's promise to keep using it no matter where we are. Even if it's just one or two messages a week. No pressure, right? Then we really can be friends forever. Right now, you're all important to me. I, I think about you all the time. But in my vision, like I said, I'm not even aware of your existence. Oh, tragic. Everybody should know who I am. 
streamer moment. But on a more serious note, I guess I can manage that. Yeah, I don't plan on leaving the group, so I'm down. Then let's make it official. Give me one second, guys. My throat is parched, so I'm going to run an ad break and get some more water. I'll be right back. Let's finish this up, huh? He puts out his hand, palm facing down. One by one, we stack our hands on top of his. I wait until the end, since I'm the newest one here. Friends, until the end. We all say that in unison and look at each other with big smiles. A moment later, we pull back our hands and continue on our way. I had no problem with the agreement, since it seemed pretty low maintenance. It's a little odd, but the pack suddenly made my life feel more grounded. If we really followed through, I'd always have friends to support me. That made this scary new city seem all the more inviting. By the time the night was over, this place would be home. I decided to bring up something that my counselor told me at our session. There's a theory that Komorobi, Komorebi isn't set in stone. It's just a possibility. A pack like this could very well defy what they believe to be fate. Ah, yes. The parallel universe thing. If that's true, then I'm screwed no matter what. If you're my best friends, then this is clearly the darkest timeline. Bruh. Oh, rude? Hey, don't worry. <laughs> I thrive in the dark. I noticed that Dante looks a little worried. Hey, uh, you know your counselor isn't supposed to do that, right? He's supposed to stick to facts and Argus-approved exercises. I, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's off-curriculum, so to speak. Yeah, and that could only come from someone who's never had a vision. People like us, who live with Komorebi, kind of find that laughable. <laughs> it's something you can't understand. Not unless you've lived it. Okay, thanks, Dick. Way to other me. I ask him for some clarification, as I'm a little confused. Well, I didn't have a speech prepared or anything, but... It'd be like hosting a lecture on something you know nothing about. And not only that, but your students are already experts on the subject. That would be both difficult and embarrassing. Just think about it this way. It's inescapable even if you escape it. We could defy our vision, sure, but we still have to experience it. Every day, we face the future as if it were the present. I mean, so they're saying that they physically experience those futures that may or may not happen? So it feels real to them no matter what? I don't know. That, like, that still seems like a pretty flimsy logic. It's like, you couldn't possibly understand what I've been through, because we're going through it or some shit. The viewer list dropped a lot. That's how Twitch streams work, bud. It's indistinguishable from reality, and it's awful. So even if we are friends forever, I'll still lose you all the time. Who cares if it's another world or universe? The feelings are... All real. You know, that's like tragic, but I don't know. Then that you need to try even harder to like ground yourself in what you know to be reality and not just what is essentially like 
if it doesn't come true, a delusion. Like, it, like, th like, what do you, bro? Like, what do you, what do you, what, what are your other options other than to rough? Wow, he nailed it. I guess I never thought of it that way before. Even if we learn the origin of these visions, they'll still happen every day. They exist alongside the truth and probably even overpower it. Though I have to say, we should probably change the subject. <laughs> this whole thing seems like a recipe for depression. Let's not sabotage our night out, huh? Yeah, that seems like a fucking heavy thing to deal with, man. I'm so glad I don't got that shit. True. <laughs> and honestly, thanks for your input, Delta. I know that you were only trying to help out. I nod and tell him it's fine. Kumbarebi sounds like a way to manipulate people into doing what they want. Yeah, I mean, if the when the game gets finished, which honestly, even though I do do it on stream, I'm like invested enough in like this world to just kind of play it on my own time. It's true though. It wasn't my place to speak about Kumbarebi. Building off of that lecture metaphor, I should be sitting and listening. Whoa! Didn't expect such a big lineup. We round the next corner and I see the nightclub for the first time. For some reason, it looks exactly how I expected it would. But Isaac was right. The lineup was massive. I thought you said they canceled the event. They did. I guess this is just the kind of traffic they get. It is the most popular club in town, after all. Hopefully it's earned that title. Any chance your friend can help with the line? I think he did, actually. Let me go talk to the person at the door. Isaac motions for us to wait as he approaches the club. Play the rest on Steam. It's not out on Steam yet. Plus, it's like really long and it like might conflict with my stream schedule if I dedicate a lot of those streams to playing this game. As unexpectedly enjoyable as this has been. We stand around and exchange glances. Dante still looks worried and closes inches close toward me. You know, I was serious about what I said. Your counselor isn't supposed to talk about that kind of stuff. If you reported him, you might be able to get cleared as a patient. I shrug, that seems unfair, and I doubt that reporting him would get me cleared. They'd probably just transfer me over to somebody else. I'm already making progress with him, so I can't do that. Starting all over with another counselor would be super tedious. Dante nods as I speak my thoughts, he seems to understand. Well, sometimes these things benefit other people. You might be fine, but he's still breaking the rules. That could be harmful. It's not a good thing to fill people's heads with nonsense, especially in therapy. Ah, uh, look at this fucking uh, bootlicker, bootlicker, bootlicker. It's like the comp, the company is right. I, I'm glad I chose. I'm not gonna lie, Isaac going around Argus and being a little skeptical of him. I'd like, I, I think a healthy amount of skepticism, especially in a society like this, is super, really, like super important. This guy sounds like he would be a big fan of Elon Musk. He has a point, but before we can talk any further, Isaac returns. Good news! We get to skip the line. Woo! And all of a sudden, your friend is back in my good books. The mood of the group instantly skyrockets. Waiting at a long line would have instantly killed, honestly killed the flow of our evening. Thankfully, Isaac's friend planned around that well fact. Well then, what kind of drink should we order first? The questions linger as we make our way inside the nightclub. A few people complain that we're able to skip, skip the line. It's kind of flattering. I have no right to feel this way, but it makes me feel important and special. I do like feeling like that. Tequila! Tequila! Dante quickly downs a shot, signaling me and Taylor to do the same. Isaac scurried off to prepare whatever needed to be prepared. As always, he remained tight-lipped until the very end. Oh, I'm so ready to pay for this in the morning. <laughs> I guess we're just gluttons for punishment. How about we grab another round and go sit down? At this rate, it could be hours before Isaac comes back. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Hey, barkeep! Three more tequila shots, please. And it should be covered. We're part of Isaac's group. The bartender shrugs and says they have no idea what we're talking about. There are no reservations or holds in place for someone by the name of Isaac. There's some stuff happening on the second floor, but not down here. The second floor? The VIP section? We turn to face each other a little wide-eyed. Taylor leans in and starts whispering. <sighs> That's amazing and all, but who's paying for these? They're already preparing the next round of shots. I'll get it, don't worry. I, I got a bit of an advance from my publisher. Just don't let them know I wasted it on booze. Bruh. <sighs> 
sure they're used to hearing that, Dante. What is a writer if not an alcoholic in disguise? There, it, not mu it's not much of a disguise, I'm gonna tell you that. Maybe save the trash talk until after you're treated. If I just pay for me and Delta, you'll get kicked out. And suddenly, I was joking. <laughs> you're the best friend ever, I swear. You're a Twitch streamer. You are literally swimming in it. You cannot fool me. You cannot fool me. I am a billionaire off of Twitch revenue alone. Sure. The bartender places three shot glasses in front of us. In return, Dante waves his phone in front of a scanner. The transaction's completed and we grab the shots. Hey, follow me. I know exactly where we can sit. And thanks a million, Dante. I, I, I really mean it. Someday I'll find a way to repay you. You could stop making fun of my career, for one. Like I said, someday I'll find a way to repay you. <laughs> we follow Taylor as we talk and eventually find an empty table. Making sure not to spill the shots, we place them down as we sit. Speaking of which, is your channel okay, Taylor? Well, actually, it's pretty great. Yeah, he's like, actually, yeah, my life is kind of incredible right now. I just locked down this multi-million dollar ad deal and I'm at rich as shit. You seem pretty scared about those shots. Like you couldn't spare the 60 bucks. I don't like spending money if I can avoid it. Bruh, so you made There's him no pay for it? spending it if someone else will treat me. That's kind of why I agreed to do this nightclub thing from the start. It makes sense you rely on handouts. Now I know why the donate button takes up your entire page. Shut up, <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. You, you, no, <clears throat> moving Bigger on. Bigger is better, as they say. But it's not just donations, Dante. I have one of the highest sub counts on the platform. Wait, on the platform? Dude, you're such a fucking cheapo. I know how much you're making. You're making like five figures a month, at least six. If you're one of the highest, dude. If you're doing like rampant numbers, you motherfucker, you're a millionaire. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> really? I, I guess I don't watch you too much. I wasn't paying attention when I guessed it either. Someone say sub. It's true. Your boy is making history. Bro, go on, Ellen. When I get a book deal, maybe you can help me out. Oh, I'm, 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 Thanks for the sub, Damien. Really Appreciate it. At a snail's pace, but at least it's moving. I took a couple days off to celebrate Delta's arrival. Especially tomorrow. You know, hangover day. Can't enjoy the highs without the lows. But don't worry, I'll make us some mimosas in the morning. Sometimes the best way to cure a hangover is to drink more. So best. I refuse to believe that. Don't drink more for, for a hangover, guys. That, that's not a healthy way to uh, deal with having a hangover. Thanks for the sub, June Koo. Juno Koo? Is June that how you said that? But nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's have a little toast to the unknown. It's not unknown. It's literally not true. Taylor shrugs and grabs the shot glass. We down the Rex round of tequila. It's a little gross. You know what they say about too much of a good thing. Well, maybe I'll believe you and get a big breakfast instead. My contract doesn't want me drinking too much anyways. You're contracted with an org? Dude, you make salary! Wait, they control what you do? You say that like it's abnormal. Thanks for the 100 bits, Ariana. There's always somebody on top of us that tells us what to do. Though I can't think of a few scenarios where that wouldn't be too bad. Oh, God damn it! I want you to know that I got your joke. It just wasn't good. Well, I'm no writer, just an entertainer. I kind of do what you do, but with less elegance. Basically, get paid to vocalize my thoughts all day. Um, I don't, I don't like, I don't, I feel very called out at, at this current moment. Whoever wrote this dialogue, you're kind of a meanie. <laughs> I'm surprised people pay for that. I didn't pay a thing, and I still want a refund after listening to you. <laughs> well, there's a market for everything. It doesn't have to be good. I mean, look at how many copies your novels have sold. Dante laughs and shares a big smile with Taylor. I honestly have no comeback for that one. You win this round, but I'll get you next time. <laughs> Looking forward to it. You're always a worthy opponent. Mm, any idea what's taking Isaac so long, by the way? He hasn't said a thing in the group chat since he left. Well, we know he's upstairs now. He's probably making the VIP section look pretty for us. Guess that gives me time for a much needed bathroom break. Oh, uh, don't break the seal, dude. Mm, giving me and Delta some alone time, huh? Oh, no. I'd never torture my friends like that. I just gotta go. He smirks before leaving. An awkward silence follows and I look around the club. Something feels different about tonight and it's not just the alcohol. It feels like I'm actually getting to know these people. When I first arrived, it was clear they were putting on an act. I don't blame them. First impressions are often important. But the second impression can be even more important in my books. 
you know, the person you see when the courtesies start to fade. Not a bad thing in any way, it means they're getting used to me. Guess this silence isn't a bad time to gather my thoughts. Gathering. Gathering. Isaac. Dante. Taylor. Dude, I- they're... Interact with each word to learn more about it. <laughs> Upon interacting with all three, your experience will continue. Gamer. Hey! Get your head out of the clouds! Oh, thank you for the 100 bits. We finally get to hang out alone and use zone out? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd take it as an insult. I shake my head and apologize. In retrospect, it was kind of rude. You mean a lot to Isaac. He's made that very clear. And from what I've experienced, you do seem pretty awesome. Well, since he's taking his... Yeah, time, I know. I just kind of have an effect on people. I'm just kind of like the best. That's true. We did have more than enough time to chat. Isaac is being slow and I saw the bathroom line up awaiting, awaiting Dante. I lean back and I try to make myself comfortable. It seemed like I'd be sitting here for a while longer, yep. Experience heart-to-heart -heart fragment. Taylor won. Ooh, ooh. Is it time, fellas? I think, I, yeah, I, I, I think we have to. Hold on. Just let me move over there. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> he moved to the other side of the screen. I turned to face Taylor, immediately making things more personal. This was the first time we'd ever been alone, buzzed in an obnoxiously loud club. What a perfect time to get to know each other. He's been wearing the Sans jacket the entire time. An awkward smile between the two of us marks the start of the conversation. I was warned about his drunken behavior, so I kind of know what to no, expect. I'm pretty proud of that sass off I had with Dante. <laughs> Usually he can pin me down, but I'm getting better on my feet. A quick wit can beat a sharp mind any day of the week. But a few shots of booze can easily bring that wit to a full stop. Considering that, I think I handled myself pretty well. Maybe one of these days you and I can go head to head. Looking forward to it, I'll brush it up on my sarcasm. We are going for the hoe out to everybody clause, right? Please don't fuck him, please don't fuck him. <laughs> There's voice acting? Yeah, like the, the voice actor of this character is, um, where, where is it again? Angel Dust from Hasbun Hotel, Michael Kovac. Flirt, yeah. Really? That's the best you've got? I'm not opposed to it, but you gotta work on your game. The ice is already broken, Delta. Swim a little deeper. Dude just called me a... I don't know what he just called me. I just feel really hurt inside because of it. We exchange a smile, but it's less awkward. That's probably for the best since I assume we'll become close friends. This group seems super tight-knit. Getting to close to one means getting close to all. You know, before you came along, I was the newest member of the group. It's been that way for a couple years. But now we have some new blood. I get to look at you through the same lens they used to judge me. Oh, but don't worry. <laughs> I like what I see. Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> look at me! So, do you move around a lot? Or will you be here long term? Ah, good to know. You seem nice. The Why is it blood I red? I don't know. Certain words I are different. Move around all the time. From one place to another, the system always kept me mobile. He fiddles with the shot glass in front of him. So, this whole fresh start thing... I know what it's like. Thanks for the sub, Tempe. Practice, but that's not really a good thing. Well, now I'm interested, and Being I don't like that. <laughs> really hard to keep a stable group of friends. Yeah, I think everybody who's been here since the start of the stream ended up getting more than they bargained for, story-wise, man. This is like a thought-provoking narrative, and it fucking it's it's making me feel things I'm not happy about feeling. When I got my first phone, though, everything changed. Making friends and keeping in touch when I move away? Priceless. I guess I also made some pretty good jokes. <laughs> Got a lot of followers. So when I decided to start streaming, oh, I already had an audience. The transition from hobbyist to full-time job happened almost overnight. I bought a house here, settled down, and then met the rest of the group. And now, I'm sitting here with you. That's the story of Taylor. You'll have to forgive me. I'm not one to really open up like this. But when you talk to strangers all day, you kind of need to hold back. Guys, don't don't listen to him. You're you're meeting the 100% real me. You know the real me. We're friends, right, guys? You, yeah, yeah, yeah. To get, get money, come on, get come. Sit, more, we're friends, so give me money. Oh, don't get me wrong. I I love my viewers more than anything. And parasocial. Yeah, there's a lot of regulars, but it all 
feels so surface level, you know? I'll never bond with them like I did with Isaac and Dante. <sighs> Guess I'm just one of those quality over quantity guys. Kind of ironic that I chose a field where numbers mean everything then. Real. Ah, can't complain too much though. I guess I do have the best of both worlds. It's odd to see someone so successful have gripes with their life. Everybody's got... YouTubers have it harder than anybody. Twitch chat is the greatest curse a man can have. Thanks for the prime sub, Bentelli. Even stardom can have its drawbacks. I'm glad we got to have some time to ourselves, Delta. Even if it felt like I did most of the talking, I, I think I needed that. I talk to people all the time, but it's rarely about anything real. How about you join me at my place next week? We can have a blast tonight and pick this up next time. Maybe I'll even let you guest on my stream. If you're nice. I'm camera shy. Oh, and we'll have a lot more privacy there. Feel free to take that one however you will. <laughs> he smirks at me and I give him a quick nod. There's no reason why that shouldn't work, so I agree. A crowded nightclub isn't the best place to form a bond. Well, I guess it depends on what you're looking for, actually. But right now, I had no interest in extending my reach beyond this group. Even though I've known Isaac for years, I'm getting to know him all over again. That's a good thing, though. It was an adventure that I was happy to embark on. Getting to know these people and their quirks could only happen once. One day, I definitely look back on this and wish I could relive it all. You really are the master of daydreaming, huh? Yep. <laughs> well, I guess all of this could be pretty overwhelming. New city, new friends, new everything, really. His face is so just like... Dot, line, dot. I'll try not to add to the pile, so don't worry. Well, except for tonight, I can't make that promise. This club is a new experience for all of us, not just you. I notice Dante returned from the bathroom. Taylor must see that I'm distracted and he hey, turns to it's look. it's about time! Delta was almost boring me to death. You're welcome. Oh, he's insulting you. Just so you know, that means he has a crush. He sits down and plays with the empty shot glass. Sorry it took so long, by the way. Some guy tried to sell me drugs. Did you buy them? Ooh, did you buy enough for all of us? Dude, drugs are bad. Thanks for the 300 bits. Yes, so is alcohol. Oh, all right. And how many energy drinks have you had today? Two. Oh, yes. There's the double standard. Can't say I didn't warn you about that contest, man. It was just a ploy to create new addicts, nothing more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard you the first thousand times. I'd be worried that they're fighting, but I know better than that by now. This is how they get along. If they hated each other, they wouldn't talk at all. It's about to continue, but Isaac startles all of us with his unexpected return. Hey! Looks like everything is good to go. Come with me. We're going somewhere special. You mean the VIP section? Aw, oh, what? How'd you know? <laughs> the bartender down here gave it away. Said the only thing going on tonight was upstairs. Buzzkill. You're like in the Call only of Duty. buzzkill here, man. Keeping us in the dark until the last possible second. All right, all right, fine. Let's just go and have some fun. That's all you ever had to say, Isaac. Maybe start with that one next time. We all get up and start to follow Isaac. At least that the time was finally upon us. No more teasing or secrecy. I'm not sure what he wanted to hide, but it kind of backfired on him. If he wanted to hype something up for my benefit, he didn't need to. I would have been fine with no outing at all and just staying home. But at least if this went well, I'd make another new friend. Isaac's a good judge of character, so I bet we'll meet someone cool. At least everyone he's introduced me so far has been pretty awesome. With slight anxiety, we ascend the stairs to a floor reserved just for us. I have to admit, that does make me feel a little special. Bong. Yeezy season approaching. Fuck whatever y'all been fear. Fuck whatever y'all been wearing. These games are surprisingly long. This is like more visual novel than anything, if I'm being honest. Like it has dating mechanics, and you can choose how you build your interpersonal relationships. But that feels like just a mechanic and not the, the genre. We ascend the stairs and my, and my anticipation rises alongside me. I've never been treated to something like this before, so I'm grateful. I only hope that I'm able to express that properly to our new friend. A friend of Isaac's is a friend of mine, at least in theory. Any addition to a group dynamic has the chance of going sour. However, I decided to be optimistic in the face of what could go well, wrong. Well, I'm sorry for the secrecy, but... 
here we are. I didn't want to reveal what was happening until the last minute. Sometimes a surprise is necessary. Just felt like one of those days. Dude, we just talked about how the surprise was ruined. I mean, it's not really a surprise if everyone knows but us. Even their part-time bartender was in on this thing. Yeah, but I value the look on your face more than theirs. That's why I kept it a secret from you and not the staff. Good or bad, a surprise is still a new experience, right? That's the logic you're using to save face? I've Don't been here for three started. hours. Okay. Jeez, oh, you've been here the whole stream? Just admit the fact you handled this wrong right from the start. <laughs> hey, 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 don't speak too soon. Isaac is blue haired pronouns? No, I promise literally. you'll understand why I've been acting so weird. There were a bunch of other people involved, and a lot of strings attached. Strings? A bunch of other people? Oh, no. Yeah, I wasn't the only one who wanted to keep things secret. I was only playing by the rules that made everyone comfortable. Also, I was legally bound. There it's were been three hours. Yep. Involved. Over three hours. We're closer to three and a half. Yeah, because the law always keeps you in line. Is this about my mods again? They're legal. I'm being honest for once. Just trust me. Please. <laughs> Said every liar ever. <laughs> Bro, when the police come knocking, you can rub it in my face. But right now, the ball is in my court, and I plan to serve. I'm, you want to uh, you want to do what to balls? I'm sorry. Oh, a sportsman all of a sudden. <laughs> you're acting so weird, like you're trying to be cool. Do not continue this. And suddenly, it all falls into place. He just wants to impress his new boyfriend. His new what? Another man pokes his head out, having been knelt behind the bar. Sorry, I was just organizing these bottles. Didn't expect the selection to be so... artistic. Wine is the one that gets better with age, right? Nerd could ask Isaac that one. He's pretty old. Huh. Guess that's why he's finer than you. Got, got his ass, goddamn. Are you sassing me? I came prepared. We all laugh and move closer to the bar. Isaac's friend looks familiar, but I can't put a finger on it. Rather than dwell on it, I simply thank him for the generosity. No problem. I was actually supposed to do a signing up here. I'm guessing Isaac told you about the event that was canceled? Yeah, it's Shinji. Thankfully, we still had the venue booked. Shinji so from Neon music. Genesis. From Evangelion. Evangelion? Is that how you say it? They voices them. Signing? <laughs> yeah. He has a following. Suddenly, we hear a high-pitched scream from behind us. It's obviously Taylor, but when we turn around, he acts oblivious. He simply lets out a deep breath and places his hand together. I am composed. Dude, you're literally like as famous as this fella. You're a Twitch streamer. That's a new noise. Please never make it again. Taylor ignores the, uh, the bait and steps even closer to the bar. Sorry, I didn't really recognize you. Uh, I'm Taylor, and apparently I'm also an idiot. Nah, don't worry. You're not an idiot. You'd be surprised how accurate those old comic books can be. Put on some glasses, change your hair, and nobody can recognize you. I can't hide that voice, though. We were just listening to you before we walked over here. I guess the whole surprise thing makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> it, it's Clayce. Wait. I know you. Dante's eyes open wide as he approaches a sudden realization. And I know you, too. Can you sign some stuff for me? <laughs> She's a well, fan. I have some spare copies of my books back at home. Bold of you to assume I didn't bring my own. I've been a fan since day one. Even have a first edition copy of Forlorn. Oh goddamn! She actually—they actually read. I love your streams. Great company for those long trips. I'm able to piece together the evidence. That's Clayce. We were listening to his music just a few hours ago while we pre-gamed. I know enough to know that he was a person of note in the music industry. Wow! Didn't know we had any idols lurking in chat. Yeah, that's the thing. You never know who's watching. There could be someone disproportionately famous compared to me in chat right now. I highly doubt it. But it's an, you know, it's fun to, it's fun to pretend. It's fun to imagine. I can fantasize. Oh yeah, totally. I tell a lot of people about your channel too. You should let me join you as a guest while I'm in town. Uh, sure. How long are you in for? A couple months, probably. Unless something comes up. I'll be easy to find though. Isaac is gonna add me to the group chat. Sounds good to me. So, uh, what are the plans for tonight? 
that was certainly interesting. They've arranged a collab. This is like Grimes going on Hassan stream, dude. Literal equivalent. I've seen crossovers like that, and they always end up in the news. A streamer and an idol playing games together? Everyone loved to see it. I'm not really familiar with the content that any of these people make, though. D Dante's novels, Taylor's streams, and Clay's music? Never experienced them. But I knew that was going to change, and at that rate, it'd be changing fast. They're all just, like, individually famous, man. For different shit. We'd each grab a bottle and just hang out. Trust me, the couches up here are super comfortable. Oh, and Isaac, you still on for Sunday? Oh, yeah, of course. What's happening on Sunday? He's moving in with us. <laughs> you dropped this on the, on this on us now? What? Surprise! You motherfucker! Now I know why you kept all of this a secret. Can't have any objections if nobody knows anything. It's not like that. Okay, maybe it's kind of like that, but you should see the look on your face. Worth it? Totally. So, what do you want to drink? I think I'll grab a bottle of fancy wine. Uh, Worst same. typical We've landlord behavior. And it looks like those bottles are pretty expensive. Let's not drink too much, though. Don't want to run his tab through the roof. Oh, feel free. It's all bought out, so don't let it go to waste. You can even grab a few to take home if you want. Bruh. Taylor steps forward and places his hands on Clay's shoulders. You are my best friend. Clay chuckles and grabs the bottle of wine he was holding earlier. Let's take a seat and see if we can make that mutual, all right? Puggers. Isaac is building a collection of dudes. Place holds a deck of cards, but not the kind you'd expect. It's a card game made with for a night of drinking with peculiar questions. Nothing held back, talking about going off the deep end for a first Looks impression. Looks like this one's for Taylor. At least, I think it suits him the best. Yeah? Yeah, just what admit it. it, you guys are invested in the narrative. You're not better than me. You're not better than me. I'm at the function with some Hennessy. <laughs> What's that transition? It's like, every time there's a scene change, it just does that on-site Kanye sound effect. Let's see here. What's the pettiest thing you've ever done? Oh, easy. You mean today or... Stalling rule! Objection sustained. You can't answer a question with another question. That defeats the entire purpose of the game, Taylor. Why did we make you the judge again? Just be thankful you didn't make me the executioner, man. Either way, stalling rule dictates that we get to ask another question. And not only that, but it doesn't have to be from a card. <laughs> we can make it up. Oh, and if I refuse to answer? Shot. <laughs> oh, what a terrible punishment. Not like I've been doing that all day anyway. Can I just take two shots and avoid this altogether? No. Damn. Objection sustained. Let's take it from the top. What's the pettiest thing you've ever done? Taylor places his head into his hands and sighs. You're all really out here trying to ruin me. I just promise you won't repeat this. It's embarrassing. It gets out his streaming career could be over. Remember, or great content. Sworn to secrecy. All right, all right. Well, I was dating this guy. He was cool, I guess. We would hang out and watch TV shows all day. It got to the point where I enjoyed the TV shows more than him. <laughs> and you know my motto, don't spend money if you don't have to. I ended up dating him for a year before actually calling it off. Gave me time to watch what I wanted. No subscriptions. Could've just snagged the password. We all exchanged glances, a little shocked. That's foul, man. Hey, now. We all do stupid things when we're young. <laughs> young? <laughs> this is just last month. <sighs> but come on, you saw the new season of Insomnia Cafe. Don't tell me you wouldn't do the same. It was so good. Oh no, he dated a guy slash J. A man child. We're That's in the, the pettiest? Of a literal man yeah, no, child. I feel like you guys eclipse that level of pettiness on a daily basis. Just the type of shit you guys have told me to, you do to get revenge on your siblings in chat confessions is absolutely heartbreaking. Like, honestly concerning. <laughs> your answers would be any better. I have dirt on all of you. Keep that in mind. Oh, you've made a big mistake now. Trash talking when we get to ask whatever we want. In that case, I'm gonna go with Delta. 
I know you wouldn't put me on the spot too bad. <laughs> and my liver hurts, so I'd prefer a question I can uh, answer. Can he do that? Yeah, reversal rule. Either elect someone or we spin a bottle. Gives him a chance to minimize his embarrassment. <laughs> Who made the rules for this? Delta, don't minimize anything. Throw him under the bus just like he does to us. We'll finally give him a taste of his own snarky medicine. Everybody looks at me. Guess I have to decide on what we ask Taylor. A bunch of questions flood the forefront of my mind and I focus. Thankfully, I've been gathering my thoughts. I'm ready for this. Let's see. Have you ever cheated on a significant other? What are the last 10 pages in your browser history? I don't want to do something that's like... Fucking... Just personally devastating. It has been three and a half hours. Yeah, this was supposed to end an hour ago. It just did not happen, did it? The browser history is the funniest one without, like, hurting people's feelings. Thanks for the sub crying bleach. Like, this is just a good, safe, comedic, and embarrassing answer. No, absolutely not. At least let a man die with some dignity. <laughs> he shakes his head and takes the shot that rests in front of him. They were lined up like ammo. Bullets weeded dirt for hiding the truth. I had a feeling that would fluster him. It could do the same to almost anybody. Look at that. You stumped him. Honestly, I don't know what I like more. Watching him take shots or watching him get all flustered. Is he a polar bear or a red panda? From where I stand, they're both pretty entertaining. But I imagine you'd like to learn more about us, right? Let's try to minimize the shots from here on out. You'll exchange glances, unsure of what happens next. The double question really threw a wrench in the momentum. Before continuing, Clace coughs to get all of our attention. I went last, so that means Delta's next. But no more freedom. Gotta stick to what's in your hand. And Taylor isn't allowed to be questioned until after his next turn. I nod and look down at the cards in my hand. It does seem like each one would fit a specific person. Clace targeted Taylor, so I'll try the same with my next move. Let's see. What fact about yourself do you hide from others? If your life was a sitcom, who would get the most laughs? Describe the most attractive part of everyone present. Oh shit. We thirst baiting? Hmm. Yeah, you know what, let's, let's keep it horny. I feel like it's been too well capped at this point. Wait, seriously? Ugh, way to put me on the spot, Delta. <laughs> See, now that's the kind of question I've been waiting for. Always a good idea to throw praise at your friends. And I finally get to hear what Dante likes about me. <laughs> I've asked him for years, but he always acts ignorant. Ugh, that shot is getting more and more tempting. But fine, just don't get mad at me if it's not what you want to hear, okay? Hey, everyone has their own taste. Wouldn't be fair to hold that against you. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We'd never do that. <laughs> as long as you get the answer right, of course. <laughs> Dante sighs, realizing it may be impossible to please everyone at the table. A moment later, in rapid-fire fashion, he speaks his mind, almost like he rehearsed it. Place the voice. Isaac, the ambition. Taylor, the confidence. And Delta, the willingness to take risks. Very cool. He smiles after he finishes, like he's proud of his answers. Oh, that was honestly great. Uh, you admire my ambition? Yeah. Someday I'll have a work ethic like you. <laughs> I spend more time looking at memes than writing. Bruh. Same. That's one of my favorite things to do. I'll say I'm gonna sleep, but I'll just stay on my phone all night. A connoisseur, I see. Only the best. And if you're nice, maybe I'll share. He smirks before continuing the game. Looks like Taylor is next. That means your immunity is worn off, too. Bro, what are you playing? The furry dating sim. It's just a banger title on YouTube, isn't it? Oh, also not a furry. It's time to get my revenge. God damn it. Bring it on, dude. I'm sure I'll never recover. Taylor inspects his cards and then whines audibly. Not fair! All of these are so wholesome! Can I just swap cards with somebody else? No. It won't kill you to be wholesome for once. It really might. <laughs> hey, make your move before I call the stalling rule. Ah, fine, fine. Let's see here. Tell us about an embarrassing fact or experience. <laughs> At least this one has potential to be juicy. Hmm. That one seems like revenge to me, man. Clace, no need to answer if you don't want to. Oh, it's fine. I just don't know my answer yet. I'm no stranger to scandals, so this casts a pretty wide net. Influencer moment. Go ahead. Take your time. But Why am I still much. here watching this? Remember, the rules apply. Because you're enjoying it. Don't lie. 
Are you sure you don't want help with this one? I know you had some pictures and videos leaked. Oh, come on. That's dirty. That's foul. But Taylor! Oh, yeah, but I killed it in those. Not embarrassing at all. <laughs> you want me to start a timer? Oh, no need. Just let me figure out how to word it. He strikes a thinking pose before starting uh, to speak. I guess this one is just an embarrassing fact about myself. But I'm pretty sure I owe my entire career to a fluke. That's every, that's every like, career. Wait, really? Right place, right time. Yeah. Well, it goes a bit deeper than that. I had my first vision when I was about to turn 13. You know, just like we all did. No real difference. Uh, yeah. I decide not to say anything. The odds of meeting someone without a vision are so blow, I can't blame him. There's no real reason to assume that someone at a table of five didn't experience Koma Rebi. But in my vision, I'm older, with a lot more experience. I had a lot of albums out, and a lot of songs to pick from. No way. Yeah, totally. I got started by stealing songs from my future self. I mean, I guess it's not really stealing since I still wrote them. Bruh. But I entered the school's talent show that year with an arsenal. I got scouted right away, and I've been working ever since. Oh, they made you do all that since you were 13? Justin Bieber moment. Well, they adjusted my courses to incorporate singing and dancing. I wasn't doing more work. The work was just tailored a bit better. Bootstrap paradox moment. Interesting. I figured you went off to an idol academy or something. I did, but that came a little later. And you're all milking ten questions out of one here. Maybe you should be sticking to the rules you were enforcing. <laughs> Fair enough. It's just an interesting story. More deeper than the galaxy. So legit, legit, dude, the world building is so good. I, it's flowing. fucking annoying me. I hate to feel like I have to defend myself all the time. Oh, I didn't think of it like that. He stops to think like he's choosing his next words carefully. If standing up for yourself was bad press, my reputation would be ruined. Don't let people walk all over you. Others will see the prince and follow suit. Dante leans forward, a little shocked. Taylor gave good advice? <laughs> This really is a special day. We all laugh as the game continues. I had my doubts at first, but Dante was right. The night is proving to be just as special as memorable. Where did you get this game? This is the first chapter demo and it's free on itch.io. I lay on one of the couches and stare up at the ceiling. Dante and Taylor do the same while Clayce and Isaac lie on the floor. It was basically unspoken, but we all decided to take a quick breather. Hey, how'd you two meet anyway? This must have taken a lot of coordination. Not really. Yeah, we met on Taylor's stream. Nothing crazy. He mentioned he was taking a break from work, so I invited him over. Seriously? But you met as I chatters? Keep a good eye on who's watching my stream. Even if they don't chat, I can still check out the user list. Can't say I ever noticed your name pop up there. Oh, I don't use that name online. Or my legal name. The agency gave me a spare account so I could be anonymous. Isaac didn't even know who I really was until around a week ago. Damn! Yeah, it's basically a burner account that influential people get. If he went around posting as himself, he'd never have peace. Full game's mind. supposed to be 16 account hours? Basically this one's like three at this point, or said it's supposed to be three. What am I planning on doing after playing the demo? Fucking going to bed, what do you mean? Sounds like it's, it's almost final. been four hours, dude. Is that even fair? A license to do whatever you want online? Well, I'm still subject to changes in my score, so it's not like I use it for evil or anything. It's just an extra layer of security. I think that's pretty cool. Good to know they care about your safety. Yeah, totally. They pitched it as a digital security guard. It keeps people at arm's length, but it's not always good. Because then I have to deceive people like Isaac. I was worried he'd hate me when I told him the truth. Any way you look at it, I lied to him for ages. Just like me for yeah, real. Yeah, but it's not like he wanted to. He didn't have any ulterior motives either. True, but I still feel a little guilty. So buying out the bar was more like a peace offering. I'd like to get things off to a good start. No secrets between friends. No place for those here. Yeah, not if we plan to be friends forever. Oh yeah, he's got to get in the pack, huh? Forever? Until death, in Isaac's words. We were getting a bit sappy earlier. Death? Sappy? Interesting combo. Yeah, we're a quirky bunch. And I don't plan on dying anytime soon. 
So I hope you're good with being friends for a long while. Yeah, of course. Place laughs, but I can tell that he's a little weirded out. You know, I don't feel like I'm an outsider anymore. That card game really helped me get to know all of you. Before you came upstairs, I was worried you'd hate me. Nah, Isaac is a pretty good judge of character. When he vouched for you, I knew we were in for a good time. He was just being shady about everything until the last minute. Yeah, I'll take this lore is deeper than Elder Scrolls, dude. I swear. I hope you can understand why we needed some privacy. He looks to the side like he's a little shy about what he'll say next. I'd also like to request that you offer me more during my stay. Of course. So, just to get things straight, you're on a small hiatus from your music career. Yeah, just wrapped up my tour, so it seemed fitting. And I don't need to start a new album for a while yet. Combine both of those facts, and boom. Freedom. We're gonna make the most of it, too. Don't want you looking back on this with any regrets. What is happening? Yeah, definitely. Furry, furry dating sim Thanks, visual Isaac. novel. For everything. I've held a thousand viewers the entire fucking time. It's unbelievable. While they talk, I get off the couch and slowly walk away. I let them know I'll just take a quick breather. It's been a wild night. As I continue to walk, I hear their laughs slowly dissipate, replaced by music. I look off the railing and down the first floor. Everyone seems to be having the time of their life. Makes me wonder if any of them knew what was going on up here. Chaos would probably ensue if they knew that Clace was mere feet away. I don't know much about him, but I know that he could really draw a crowd. That's probably the most important quality for someone in his line of work. Experience heart-to-heart -heart fragment. Clace one. Yeah, sure. I stand in front of the railing, watching the activity on the dance floor. It hasn't been too long since I arrived, but I'm starting to feel a sense of home. There's just something about this place and their people I need in these people. I feel at ease. I'm even able to establish a rapport with people I've never met. It's like the weight that hindered me back at home was completely eliminated. It could this could be a honeymoon period, of course, but I'm going to enjoy every second. Clace approaches me, stare startling me out of my hey, reverie. How are you holding up? This is the first time I've seen you away from the rest of the group. We're all having a blast, you know. I hope you feel the same way. Yeah, um, I kind of want to play this one casual. I don't know Clace well enough yet to go full send. I was just waiting for someone to come ask me for a minute. I was just thinking about home. Thumbs up. Oh, good. I was starting to worry. Things were getting a little intense, I'll give you that. But I'm glad you're not tapping out. We're just getting started. Dude, livers of steel in these people. Jesus. He gives me a soft smile before taking another sip of his drink. I thank him for coming over to check on me, and I expect him to leave. Much to my surprise, however, he stays beside me, enjoying my company. We watch the dance floor together, and I'm a little flattered. Someone of his status choosing to spend time with me? As that thought con consumes my mind, I can't help but ask him. Status? And what status do you mean exactly? People say that all the time, but they have no idea what this industry is like. I can guarantee that you'd outrank me tenfold if we compared our scores. People like me. Artists, I mean, are known for having awful scores. Art has always been about challenging the status quo, at least to me. The system hates that, and every new song is a nosedive for my score. So you can have like a low score and still be killing it, I guess. I tell him that I'm not talking about the system. I'm talking about his fame and fortune as a pop star. However, I'm a bit surprised that his score is low. Oh jeez, now I'm embarrassed for going off on a tangent. Whenever somebody mentions status, I always think about the system. We're just numbers in a computer. Fame and fortune will always come second to that. Hi, Nuka. Why'd you have to walk in on me doing this? Like you could have picked, you could have picked any other stream, but holy frostfire, Nuka! Look at the view count. Tell me you wouldn't do the same. Look at the view count. Tell me, I, tell me I'm wrong for this. Tell me I'm wrong for this. I'm a bag getter. What can I say? Held th how I held this viewership for four hours. It goes against my values to treat one group of people better than another, too. So this status that you're talking about is from the outside looking in. And when I watch you and your friends, I'm actually pretty jealous. He's envious of us? I ask him to elaborate. At this point, I think the alcohol is elaborating, not me. But everybody dancing down there, I bet they wish they could be up here. They'd probably even abandon their friends and family for a life of luxury. And by the time they regret it, it'd already be too late. Once you get into a world like this, there's no getting out. You're just... 
there, watching them, and wanting to go back. Not gonna lie, this is something I think about a lot. I'm definitely not at the level of status that Clay's is, is in this fictional world. But it's like, I can do the online shit and then just go outside and be me and it's nice. Thanks for the Prime subs, Sean. Appreciate it. You know, I could tell that you and your friends were worried. It was clear. You didn't really know if you'd fit in with me or not. Are you playing but a first honestly, dating sim? I you was just... terrified that I wouldn't fit in with you. Also, it's got a good plot. I'm here for the narrative. And nothing else. He scoffs. I said I wanted to have a good time, and now I'm bringing you down. Let's make a deal, all right? Drop the whole status thing between us. That's not something I can ask of them, but I know I can ask it of you. He motions down toward the dance floor, and I understand what he means, especially now that people are starting to recognize his face. They look up from the dance floor, taking pictures of us. Just like they want to be up here, I want to be the down hundred there. bits. That velvet rope keeps me in just as much as it keeps them out. For my safety, they always say. Like I can't take care of myself. But I hope that you and your friends can change that. I don't have to be up here alone anymore. I can be with all of you. He leans over the railing a little bit, blowing a kiss to the crowd. With a smile and a little pose for the photos, it seems like his work is done. They cheer, but it's peculiar, like his personality changed just for the crowd. Well then, let's get away from all those prying eyes. If I'm not mistaken, you owe me a few facts about yourself. Gamer, I nod and follow him back to the core area of the VIP deck. We sit down across from each other and he leans back, stretching. Dante, Taylor, and Isaac are hanging out. Their distance provides us with privacy. He rests his empty glass on the table between us and then stares at me. I can tell he's trying to get a read on me, like he can tell just from, just from sight. With a quick shrug, I rest back in my chair and wait for him to speak. There's something... different about you. Maybe it's because we're both fish out of water here. Lost and clueless, but lost and clueless together, right? Another smile. I give him one in return. Bonding over a shared struggle makes sense to me. It's not easy moving to a place you know almost nothing about. So, why did you move exactly? I know your friends are here, and Isaac offered you a room, but yeah. Running away from something? Looking for something new? I tell him that it's a mix of both, honestly. At home I felt held back. I needed a change and more freedom. I also don't know what I want in life, so I guess it's an excuse to find myself. Find yourself? I've been there. And it's not really what you'd think. Sometimes, finding yourself just means realizing how lost you really are. Real. In the face of something It's like the that, line from earlier. Blissful ignorance almost seems preferable. It might just be the alcohol, but that sounded rather profound. Clay immediately leans forward, giggling at what he said. I am so putting that in my next song. Look, we just met and you're already inspiring me. Let's have another drink, alright? I like where this is going. He quickly scurries to the bar and prepares two glasses of wine. Carefully walking back, he tries his best not to spill anything. Sitting down with a smile, he places the drinks on the table. Thanks for opening up to me, by the way. It's enough to know your reasoning. I shouldn't pry for specifics. If I keep making you talk about your past, you'll never move on from it. So, let's have a drink to the future, all right? And not the Como Rebbe, but the future we make for ourselves. No need to base our lives on all of that metaphysical nonsense. Based. I raise my glass and we drink in sync with one another. However, when we put the glasses down, I have to come clean. This is when I let him know that I've never experienced Kumar Rebbe. Oh, really? Well, even better. From what I've seen, people like you live happier lives. I've never understood all that counselor nonsense. I totally agree and thank him for his point of view. If anything, it seems like the remnants of a dead system. People our age have long since come to terms with Kumar Rebbe, but while we're on the subject, I had to ask him. What did he see in his vision? Did he see his fame and fortune? I know he had songs in his head, but what else did he glean? It immediately looks taken aback and his ears perk up. He looks worried and blushes softly as he adjusts his scarf. Such a mixed reaction, I can't tell if I did something bad or not. That's a third date kind of conversation, you know. But I doubt this is the last time we'll be hanging out together. Just put that one on the back burner. Time- At least for now. Please? Time to flirt. Smooth. But actually, I'm not really allowed to date. They say a single guy gets more attention from the fans. I know they're really after money. It's been four hours, exactly fellas. Holy shit. Going insane live on stream. 
Wait, the industry controls his personal life? That doesn't sound good. Although it does explain why his social skills are rough around the edges. Damn, just shit on him for that. If this is really his first group of friends, I'm glad to be a part of it. Although... He smirks. I keep forgetting that I'm not bound by their rules during this hiatus. Like, I know I am, but it hasn't really registered in my head yet. They gave me this little break in order to seal a deal in the making. Yeah. After this break, I owe them five albums over ten years. My last contract ran its course, so I actually had ground to negotiate. I'm giving them so much of my life. I guess I just wanted some of it back in return. There's something about all of this that seems so depressing. He's able to say it with a smile, however, like it's normal to him. But I know that during this break, I'll make bonds that last a lifetime. The next ten years will be nothing if I have all of you by my side. I was worried, but now I have some much needed backup. We both smile at each other and he blushes once more. I couldn't put my finger on it, but that seemed like the perfect end to our talk. Two albums a year? No, one album every two years. You'd be surprised, guys. Like, a lot of contracts... I don't know if there's, like, a time stipulation, but a lot of... Uh, a lot of contracts that people get in the music industry are have, like, them on a, an exclusivity thing with a, with a certain label for a minimum amount of labels. Or a minimum amount of albums. It's, like... Part of why signing is such a... I don't know, my music is nowhere at the point where it would, like, be approached by albums or, like, uh, record labels, but I, I don't know if I'd ever sign that away without it being, like, a really good deal and, like, a fucking really, really specific contract. Why is the sprite moving up and down? It's just, like, supposed to create some simulated motion. Both standing up at the same time, it was almost that f like that feeling was mutual. It seems as if we're both in sync. Like you said before, fish out of water. Holding out his glass, he simply repeats the earlier saying. Remember, lost and clueless. As I say, I tap my glass against his. With a quick smile, he returns to the rest of the group. Everyone seems to be getting along as I head back to the group. Clay slowly sips on his w a glass of wine and everybody mingles with each other. That, def that breather definitely helped. I can't party as hard as everyone else, it seems. Welcome back. We're starting to worry you ditch us. Not everybody can handle a night like this. No hard feelings if that's the case, of course. Oh, <laughs> there'd definitely be hard feelings. Isaac planned this night just for you, remember? I don't know about all that. Pressure. That's not even true. He planned the night around Clace, too. Makes me feel a little inadequate. I never got a party like this when I joined the group. <laughs> yeah, I save it for the people who are worth it. Damn. Oh, mean. Justified. That was actually. like cruel, not just mean. That was like a war crime. Place finishes his glass and places it down, emitting a loud noise. This gets all of our attention. The bickering quickly stops. What do you think we should do next? There's still a few hours before last call. Ah, good question. We all exchange glances, unsure of what to do. No one mentions anything, so Clace changes the subject. I may have blown my cover a little earlier, by the way. We should probably sneak out the back entrance when we leave. That's fine with me. I warned everybody that we might attract some attention. Uh, what should we do if everyone starts crowding you? I don't think it'll be an issue, but just stay by my side. I can keep you safe if anything escalates. Just has like a four, like a 12 foot tall werewolf form. Actually, I figured we'd be the ones protecting you. Yeah, right. The crowd would eat you alive. I'm used to this, so if it comes down to it, just follow my lead. It doesn't happen too often, though. Not with the new point penalties. What's the group? Like, the friend group. Like a relationship or a cult? No, literally just like a bunch of fellas who hang out. What? what? The new what? No. Yeah, public scene, big uproar, obstructing paths. If they notice us, they'll probably just watch from a distance. Pestering a public figure can net you like 10 different penalties. Really? A and that's been set in stone. That's not just one of the glitches happening lately. Convenient excuse, don't you think? Crack down harder and blame it on a glitch? Oh, is it tinfoil hat time? Trust me, I've heard every possible theory about Argus. The world was dealt a bad hand and they just wanted to help. That's all. Bootlicker moment. You should hear what some of the people say to me at work. They have no problem trash talking the company they're giving money to. I don't know, man. It's a, it's a, you want to make society but participate well, in that I moment? I mean, we're not just giving them money. 
We're giving them the freedom to control our lives. I know it's for the greater good, but it's still strict. You can still do whatever you want, though. You're not tied down. At the end of the day, you're still in control of your score. Brainwashed. All of them. Yeah, but there's a lot of incentive to be an obedient drone. A bad score can literally destroy your life and your social status. Well, not always. Uh, what do you mean? My score is pretty awful. Especially with all the partying I do on tour. Damn. That is so not fair. Tank your score and they still let you buy out a bar? <laughs> if any normal person tried that, they'd just be laughed away. So the scores aren't as absolute as we think. I mean, as far as theories go, that's pretty common. But you can't say that's part of Argus's game. Notable people have always been given special treatment. It's not like that's a new addition to our society. Nothing changed. Shouldn't it, though? That's a bit too deep for me. No sense wasting time on something you can't change. It's just wishful thinking. Like trying to defy your vision. Bro, a moment. That doesn't mean you should just sit back and give up. As long as you believe in your cause, this is the first stream I can into, and you're playing shit like this. Fighting. You, we, dude, we do a lot. Of, well, I'm a variety streamer. I do a lot of different stuff. What do you want me to? What do you want me to say? You guys flip flop way too much on whether or not you believe your visions. Us and the rest of the world, Isaac. We weren't all given a bright one like you were. Bruh. Everybody looks shocked and exchange glances. I knew alcohol was at play, but Dante just made a big mistake. Revealing facts about another person's vision? Really bad move. I didn't have a vision, but I knew that they were super intimate. Sharing your vision with someone else was an expression of trust. To have them speak about it to others? It was a bit of a betrayal. You may think it's bright from what I told you, but unless you're all there beside me, it'll feel hollow. When things get tough, the hope that I can change it keeps me going. Dante shakes his head upon realizing his mistake. I'm, I'm sorry, Isaac. I, I didn't mean to speak for you. It's fine. I'm among friends. I would trust all of you with this stuff. Just not now. Is this a dating game? It has dating mechanics, but it's like visual novel first. That's fair. Anyway, let's go back stacked, to Stacked Taylor. voice acting. You've heard too. every theory. What are some of the worst? <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> Excuse me, people actually believe that? Oh, totally. I see it everywhere. Whenever something weird happens, people on the internet will say aliens. And I do have to admit, Komorebi is pretty high up there on the weird scale. Uh, yeah, but aliens? Hey, I never said I believed it. I think the deterrent theory is way better. The what? Oh, I know about that one, actually. Right before the first visions, world tensions were high. Everyone thought we were moments away from all out war. <laughs> Cannon World War Furry! Cannon Furry World War! Dude, I can't! I can't! Oh! Oh, the thematics, to, like, the writing is so good, it's just I'm imagining fucking. <laughs> no, fur, there's so many, like, furries in the military, you'd be surprised. Then, all of a sudden, Como Rebi steps in. We don't care about fighting each other anymore. I'm sorry, Quint, but I've lost all respect enemy. for you. You didn't have Future. any, don't lie to me. Yeah, like, I, there's no chance you had much for me anyways. Come on now. Yeah, that makes sense to me. It's not something you can take, like a nation. And it's not something you can force, like an ideal. It brought about peace. Whether random or created, that's still Arch the case. Archduke Franz Ferdinand Furry. I don't think I can buy the theory that someone created Komarebi. It would be impossible to manufacture something like that, right? I don't know about that one. There's always a scientist that tries to oh, play fuck, God, you know? It's the end. Like I said, I'm more inclined to believe that theory. Doesn't mean I believe it. That's fair. I did hear about some crazy experiments in Switzerland. Switzerland canon? Yeah, they're always up to something over there. I know they were obsessed with contacting another universe for a while. Did that ever go anywhere? I don't think we were worthy of a response. Like Taylor joked about, this is probably just the right, darkest see timeline. Have a good one. They take one look at what we have to put up with and run the other way. Yeah, this That's is the longest so fragment at all. It's so much longer than all the other ones. I have a cure for that. Taylor holds up a bottle of booze, implying that it's time to drink Besides, more. Besides, it's a waste of time to focus on questions that have no answer. Like, why do scissors come in packages that require scissors to open? Like... I'm buying a pair! That obviously means that I don't have one to use! Why don't you just use a kitchen knife to open it? Uh, what? 
We have like 10 knives in the kitchen drawer. Y you do know you don't need to use scissors, right? Yeah, but they're convenient. There's a little picture of scissors next to the dotted line. It's, it's scissors are just more generally convenient to cut with than knives. Everyone stares at Taylor. Is it okay if I just start drinking again? I mean, we're here to have fun, not rip into Taylor. Those are the same thing. You know what? You're right. But I do appreciate talking about more real issues. Even if we'll never know the We're truth, about to cross the four hour line, dude. Holy shit. To talk about. Hey, I'll drink to that one. It can't be all fun and games, even if we want it to be. From FNF Honestly, to analog horror, he has a lot of, of variety. I've ever had. Yep, weird ass dating sims. You must not have much freedom when you're on tour. Nah. <laughs> I'm always at arm's length for one person or another. But I told them I wanted to be left alone while I'm on this hiatus. At least it'll give me the chance to prove that I can care for myself. This and is gonna be such a big file to upload. We'd be there for you. Guys, can we can we pray oh, for Flinders? Can we get a place. prayer for Flinders in chat? Sounds good to me. Just remember what I said about taking the back door. Mm, didn't know you guys had that kind of relationship. Bruh. He meant the nightclub, you absolute idiot. Taylor smirks without saying another word. A moment later, we all scurry towards the bar. I grab a few bottles of whatever stands out to me. Like a kid in a candy store is a pretty apt expression. Especially for Taylor, who seems overwhelmed by the possibilities. He keeps taking a bottle, putting it back, and then taking another one. We didn't leave him behind. We waited for him to choose before leaving. Free was certainly the best price of all. Don't tell me there's more, dude. Don't tell me there's more. Holy fuck, it's not over! This is like the most in-depth storytelling ever told. We scurried down the streets carrying more alcohol than we could ever drink. But it's all paid for, so there's no point in letting it go to waste. We'd be stocked up for our New Year's Damn. party. They're really watching us, huh? Kinda embarrassing. They're gonna think we're alcoholics. Well, if you're not, you sure fooled me. This is the demo, yeah. Or it was apparent, supposedly the demo. It's supposed to be three hours long. The flash of their cameras is annoying, but not too overwhelming. Clace was right. They won't approach us due to the system. How do you operate under this much pressure, Clace? There's so many eyes on me, I can't help but feel violated. Eh, you get used to it. The number one thing is remembering that they like you. They watch out of respect and admiration, not to judge. A demo, Typically, yep. I'd assume you're right, but I imagine you don't walk down the street like Probably this Probably meant often. five hours. I mean, you look <laughs> like you just robbed a dozen liquor stores. I'm gonna die and have a funeral on this stream. I'm getting married. While still streaming this game. We kinda did. I was just joking about buying it out. What? Wh what? I tried to make a joke. Dude, don't do that! You almost gave me a heart attack! That would've yeah, been funny. I'd never do that. It'd be way too boring without you. Heart attack would be kinda funny, ain't gonna lie. I keep looking at the other side of the street, the crowd grows. Isaac was right after all, we definitely got some attention. Thankfully I made sure to dress nice and act really? confident. <laughs> Good to know I made a nice first. Before we can finish, we hear a bottle of booze hit the ground. It shatters and I feel some drops splash against my ankles. We turn around and Dante stares at us, clearly his fault. Uh, we will never mention this again. The crowd that was watching us laughs like a studio audience. It's so weird, like they can't cross the divide between us. The system is keeping us apart despite our I'd desires. I agree, but I know you'll just end up dropping more. You're next level clumsy, and now it's embarrassing me. Nothing wrong with getting embarrassed. It'll help keep your ego in check. T me? Ego? Streamer it's moment. Undeniable. Streamer moment. Dante struggles to rearrange the bottles in his hands. We stand by and wait for him, but we don't clean up the glass. One of the automated drones would be by to fix it in minutes for sure. Hey, you need some help? We're all shocked to attention and look at the other side of the road. Someone walks over, but it's not just anybody. We know this guy. Figured they weren't gonna jump in and lend a hand. Looks like they're scared of getting in trouble. Well, intimidated even. Intimidated? Why? No idea. I'm just a messenger. But I saw a friend in need and ran to help. Guess the system doesn't like good Samaritans. It's the well, fella. It's not that. Our friend here is kind of famous, so they want pictures. The system is actually protecting us from a stampede. I just had so, so, like, hella deja vu about this one piece of dialogue. I just had the... I just had the come already, dude. That's crazy. Famous? Really? 
Been here for a day and I'm already making connections? I'd be super jealous back at home. You know, if we cared about that kind of stuff. He kneels down beside the broken glass, running a couple figures through the pool of booze he then tastes it. We all look at each other, confused and a bit concerned about health risks. Oh, you drink this stuff? Yeah. It tastes disgusting. Yeah, but it makes us happy. Is this Argus is doing? Make you happy with drinks so you don't fight back? Look at this fucking- look at this fucking party pooper, dude. Look at this fucking party pooper. What? Just some food for thought. Or drinks for thought, I guess. Here. Let me have some of that. Thanks for the 140 bits, Ariana. He motions towards Dante and holds out a hand. Dante looks at all of us, but confused before giving Zero some bottles. Carrying them with- his name's just Zero now. Carrying them with relative ease, he shrugs, unsure of what to do Where next. Where are we going? Home. Well, I, I don't want to intrude on anything. I'll just help you carry your bottles and then go on my way. Let's call it even for the food you've been giving me. Sounds fair. Are you sure we won't get in trouble? No. It doesn't matter anyway. Look at all the people taking photos of us. Can we Any kill this guy yet? Yeah? we wouldn't get caught is long gone. Don't tell me I'm gonna is have to do one more heart to heart, dude. To talk to a zero? Well, it's a crime for them to sneak into the city. I imagine it's against the rules by association. If we get docked points, let's just contest it. Fair. The system really keeps you all apart, huh? He tilts his head on to the people on the other side of the street. Looks like both sides are worried about their score. Common sense tells me you could coexist just fine. <laughs> Common sense? Not a lot of city folk have that. But thanks for the help. Goshi, yeah. I appreciate it. Same voice actor. Well, you could show your appreciation by actually talking to me. Every person I meet, it's always score this and points that. I, I don't care about those. Let me make that crystal clear. Well, it's are my weakness. You are weak. Well, you could tell us about yourself. We have a bit of a walk ahead of us. At least an hour. Should really should have just taken the public transit. Call an Uber, I dude. I want to hear about the famous dude first. What did he do? Suck up to Argus the most? Hey. Not really. My score is terrible. But I like to sing and dance, and people like to listen and watch. I'm on a break now, but I usually just travel the world and perform. That sounds stressful. You have no idea. I'd suggest easing up on the Argus hate, though. There's no need to draw attention to yourself. Yeah. You want to fit in as much as possible. Bro moment. It's hard to do that when I can't enter any buildings. I'm supposed to have a phone with a special chip in it? I don't even have any money. How am I supposed to fit in? Aren't you here with your friends to fight that, though? You know, so you can have access and stuff? I just want this to end so I can sleep, please, quite how much longer. If this goes on to 4.15, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna save and call it the night. Now, they're here to fight it. I'm here to see the sights and learn about this city. There's a lot less green around here. Super depressing. Is that Jonas Scott? Yes. Suddenly, I remember the pit. I told you guys, the voice acting cast for this game is stacked! Suddenly, I remember the pamphlets. This might be a good time to get more information from Zero. It's over five hours. It said three on the website! It said three on the website! Click download. Come over, we'll chat will be forever free with the rest watching as a paid experience. Farm Wolf, you got pranked. I got absolutely fucked, dude! I decide to ask him in an effort to make conversation. The perspective of an outsider is always good. It challenges your views. It seems that he just seems to dislike Argus, but does he really believe the things I read? Wait, which ones are you talking about? I let him know what I heard. I believe that Argus is responsible for Como Rebi. And only that, but that believes Como Rebi disproves free will. It's ridiculous. Argus must have planted those to make us look bad. We did bring some reading material, but not as stupid as that. What did you bring exactly? You know, just stuff about the impending land crisis. We grow in numbers while your cities grow in size. Less food and more people. A pretty bad combination. I didn't know it was so severe. That's quite the demo, holy shit. Legit, it's like the Hotline 024 shit all over again. It's definitely going down that route, yeah. But it's best to take care of it before it becomes a problem, you know? We just have foresight. Figured you'd all be used to that by now. Though I guess everyone focuses on potential futures. Kind of stupid when there's a real one right in front of your noses. One look at a zero colony and you'd be on my side, I guarantee it. Huh. Uh, I see. Well, thanks for helping. Damn. And Just red-pilled them I hard. Hope you enjoy your time in the city. Of course. It's nice to have a change of pace. And if you want to help in return, just tell people we aren't that bad. 
If they believe we hate Argus that much, we'll have no chance. Especially if they're starting to fall for those fake pamphlets. Whoever made them, it's clearly just an You got all, I love me a counter propaganda campaign, you know? Honestly, that's the best way to ruin somebody. Attack their credibility until it doesn't even matter if they speak the truth. Remove our willingness to hear so we don't care what you have to say. Exactly. But like I said, it feels like How a am I still battle. alive? I you don't know, man. Story ruled me in. Me. He lets out a soft laugh and we're uncertain if he's serious or not. Since we're walking the entire time, we've lost the crowd. The return to privacy and anonymity was a welcome one, to say the least. How much farther is it? Uh, maybe five more minutes? All right. This is turning into quite the workout. I'm thankful that I got to make some new friends, though. Likewise. And you're moving in with Isaac, right? <laughs> Guess I'll have to come and visit more often. Quite bestie, what is this? A uh, oh, very, very awesome. compelling narrative game. But I can come to Visual your place novel. for that stream we talked about. I think a lot of people would be interested in watching it. <laughs> you're telling me. Just be warned that I say a lot of stupid stuff. You kind of have to turn off your filter to fill dead air. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I watch you all the time. Trust me, I know. Let's settle on a date and time, and I'll get them to make a press release. The more hype we can build leading up to it, the better. Sound good? More than good. We're I too never interested watched in Taylor, Taylor, like, but this, this was supposed to end two hours ago. has me interested. Yeah, you never watch. You just leech off of my viewers. Free promo. That's uh, a good life. We laugh as we continue to walk home. Zero is rather quiet, though. He's probably not sure where he fits in, but we still appreciate the help. This has voice acting? Yeah. Look up the cast for this game, man. By the time we make it back home, he barely says another word. Okay. Guys. I, I, as much as I'm enjoying this, I really do have to, I really do have to call it. Um, I don't know how much is left in this demo, but I, I think this is like one of those, I'll finish this after we do the main recording of another video or some shit. Like, oh my god. Well, I'm, I'm gonna call it here. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, did you know I streamed this live on twitch.tv slash quite? You could have seen me fall down the rabbit hole of it as existentialism live, but you weren't here. Oh, anyways, okay. I, I, guys, I'm running that ad break and I'm, I'm rating someone. I, I, I gotta. I'm, I'm tired. This has been a, a like a, a sixth of my day. Like a third of my waking hours have been this. <laughs> oh my god. Went on for so damn long. Like, and I don't mind it. Like, that's something I would probably do in my free time if I don't finish it on stream, but... Sheesh! The heart plays and weighs the mind. The heart plays and weighs the mind. Can't figure out. I think I'm gonna give it to, uh... Uh... Hmm, who, who should I give it to? I'll give it to Rotora. He's doing a subathon right now, I think. All right, so I'm going to raid the homie Rotora. He's a, a fella I met in Austin. He's very cool. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Guys, on Friday, I'm doing a Ban Appeal stream. Uh, you might want to be there for that, because it'll be a juicy one, I'm pretty sure. Considering some of the stupid shit y'all do to get banned. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll see you guys in a few days. Let's get at least 24 hours into the summathon before, before we do anything crazy like full might game.